Ladies and gents, good evening. Let's play some EverQuest, shall we? I know, I've been away. I'm sorry. I apologise for all of you. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I know, it's YouTube and not Twitch as well. Stuff has happened. I've been busy. Things have been happening. But uh, what I need to do is mute myself on my phone. There we go. See? Professional. That's what you expect of me. Professional streamer, you know that when you come here, you get the most professional of all the MMO opinions. All of them. Literally every single professional opinion balled into one. What are we going to do today? Let me tell you what we're going to do today. First of all, Twitch seems to be dropping the ball on quite a lot of stuff. You know, Twitch is... Eh, People are talking about the monetization. People are talking about the failure that was TwitchCon. People are talking about the uh, major changes with adverts and stuff, back scenes, behind the scenes of Twitch and stuff. And I don't really know about all of that, but what I do know is that YouTube apparently is pretty good for streaming, so I thought I'd give it a go. I, I can't talk about it unless I know about it. So I need to give it a go to see if it's any good. And what popped into my head today was, how many people do you know who keep constantly saying older MMOs were better? They keep saying, oh, you know, back in my day, back in the old day, oh, it was good back in my day, every MMO today is terrible. Okay, let's go back and replay EverQuest 1 as it is right now together. And let's have a look at the systems, let's have a look at the tutorial, let's have a look at the gameplay flow, let's have a look at the UI, let's have a look at the interface, let's have a look at how it all works together, and we can objectively analyse together whether it actually is a good MMORPG experience, whether it's a good gameplay experience, whether you would actually play it yourself. Now, I very much enjoy Guild Wars 1. I think Guild Wars 1 is a much better RPG than Guild Wars 2, but I think Guild Wars 2 is a better online chat room than Guild Wars 1. So let's see what EverQuest is like. Now, talking about that whole, I don't talk about things unless I'm super well-schooled and very intelligent and, you know, know lots of stuff about them, some of you may have seen videos going around of me talking about uh, Ashes of Pantheon, Rise of the Creation Fallen, and I think I need to clarify my stance on this, because clearly I am uh, a knowledgeable individual and I know a lot about those games that are definitely the same game that I didn't just confuse when I was building some Hellblasters uh, and making some Warhammer. Uh, so here's what happens. Someone asked my opinion about Ashes of Creation and I answered assuming that what I was actually talking about was Pantheon Rise of the Fallen uh, because those two games pretty much just got uh, model up in my own head. One of them, of course, is an MMO that hasn't come out yet, and the other one is an MMO that hasn't come out yet that promises to be really good. The main issue that I find talking about these games is, one, I don't really care about the development process. I know that sounds really weird to say, you know, you love the genre, why don't you care about the development process? It's because in the development process, anyone can say anything and you can show something that looks really good in a vacuum that may not translate to being a good MMORPG or a sustainable MMORPG or even one that grabs people's attention and then holds it for a long time. I'm kind of burnt out of following the development of any MMORPG when a lot of the you know, development cycles for games that haven't come out yet is they follow very similar story beats. As in... They promise something massive, maybe it'll be a huge world, maybe it'll be a new combat system, maybe it's a new magic system, or they promise something that's going to be super duper old, and then what you get isn't always like the promises. I'm honestly just bored of trying to critique development when there's very little there to critique, because you can say whatever the hell you want when it you know, is in development, that's not a difficult thing to do. So yeah, I got the Ashes of Creation thing wrong, because Ashes of Creation apparently is the real one that's definitely going to be a really good game for reals as we promise, and then Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is one that is not actually a real game, but we promised it was going to be good, but now it isn't. So yeah, I pretty much just don't know enough about Ashes or Pantheon to speak as an authority on either of them, and I don't really have any interest in keeping up with the development of either of them, because whatever they say will happen now may not happen. It might, it might not. I am much more interested in waiting for the game to release and actually playing something that they've got. That's going to be cool. As soon as it does, that happens. Sweet. I'll be straight on there, no problem at all. Until then, uh, let's go back and play some old games. I thought 
let's look into MMO history. Let's is it a live live stream? Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are live on YouTube for once instead of being on Twitch. Normally, I would stream on Twitch. I thought I'd give YouTube a go, see what it's like. It's fine so far. I think I can just about read your chat. I can't have the chat overlaid on the game yet, but I will be changing that around. Let's go back and collectively play EverQuest 1 together. Now, some of you guys I know play EverQuest 1. You've played Project 99. I am playing the Steam version because I want to see what it's actually like. Everyone keeps saying that old MMOs are better, so let's go back and play a really old MMO. Just a quick show in the chat. Who's actually played this? Like, Who has legitimately actually played EverQuest when it released either back in 1999 or after from 1999. Also, let's just see how we mute people in this chat. There we go. So, Mike, I love the fact that you love banana, but not everyone loves banana. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Here we go. So, no, 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 never, never did not. Me, I spent many hours in Norath. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the super chat. It's remarkably kind of you. Right, let's see what we can do. So, the first thing that strikes me as odd is in the top left, you can choose your race. Barbarian. Now, to me, barbarian is a, a class, but no, no, here it's uh, it's a race. Dark elf, that yeah, that's a race. Dwarf, that's a race. Erudite, that's uh, that's a five head race right there. That is, if that isn't a mage race, I would be, I, I would be upset if that wasn't some kind of wizard right there. The brain power looks incredible. But then we've got gnome. Okay, definitely pretty gnomish. Half-elf. Yep, I can see that. Half-ling. Again, very Lord of the Rings vibe going on there. High-elves. Human. Classic good old human. I may need to go with the human just because I am a basic bitch. I'll admit that. Straight away. Okay, I absolutely am. We've then got uh, Ixar, which is for the scalies in the audience. There you go. You guys are taken care of as well. He's even wearing the leather harness because he knows what you're after. Ogre. You can just straight up be an ogre. Now, to me, traditionally, like an ogre is an enemy. You know, we someone said to me, oh, there's an ogre in an MMORPG. I'd assume it was a bad guy. But no, no, you can just play an ogre in EverQuest. A troll. You can play a troll. I'm going to be honest with you guys. After... After going to too many conventions and relying way too much on Uber Eats, that body shape right there, that is calling me out. That is... Yeah, that's a little too close to home right there. I'm looking at that and I'm thinking... Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, fake laughter hiding real pain. Uh, oh, we, oh, there's the furries. Fantastic. The Vasir. We could just straight up be... That's King from Tekken. Excellent. So we can just play King from Tekken. We can play a Wood Elf, who... Is he just wearing a vest made of leaves? I like it. I like it. Like, you can take the elf out of the wood, but you can't... I'm not going to finish that sentence. I, I processed it in my head and I thought, you don't want that clip existing, Josh. That's not... So Visa. If Visa's here, that's already... Let's just move on to the next one. Oh, look, it's a frog. Fant stop it, all right? We've been streaming for like five minutes. Stop it. This is not how we're starting the stream. Okay, we're being a serious, serious gameplay right now. Almost said it. So, frog lock. We can have a frog lock. Uh, I played a frog lock in EverQuest 2. It was actually quite fun. I enjoyed the hop. And the Draken, who looks like someone who ran out of ideas before a Halloween party and just decided to tattoo themselves and draw on their face with Sharpie. Now, because I am so different and unique and not like the other girls, I am going to play as a human male, because I like the fantasy of MMOs. I like the fact that they let you be whatever you want. So, of course, we're going with human male. Now, that was just the race. Now it's time for the class. Bard. Okay. Bards are jacks of all trades, adventurers who use music to create a wide variety of magical effects. Now, remember, EverQuest 1 was pretty much very, very focused on teamwork. So don't be expecting any kind of you know, Giga Chad solo class going on. No matter what we choose, we're going to need other people. And I am probably going to need to find other people in the game. We could go with a cleric, who I'm guessing heal things. Powerful healing and enchantment spells. We've got a druid. Druids are powerful and versatile. 
using nature. I'm reading all the writing on the left, by the way. One of the things that you need to understand about... Um, in fact, have we got the chat coming up? We do have the chat coming up. Let's just move that chat to there. Then I can have... In fact, if I put this chat down here... Look at me being all professional. can actually have that just there. So people, when they watch this video back, can read some of the chat. How smart are we? Let's just do that, and then we'll make it even bigger. You'd think I was a pro streamer. You'd think I'd done this before. Okay, cool. Let's carry on. So we could be a... We could be a druid. We could be an enchanter. Enchantment. Let's not do that. Now, there's, a, there's an enchanter. There's a magician. And there's a shaman. And there's a wizard. So they're all different. There's They're all very, very different. We've got... Wizard, Magician, Enchanter, Shaman, and Shadow Knight. They're all different things. What do we do? Monk. In their martial studies, monks learn to punch things good. Necromancer. I think I played a Necromancer. I'm pretty sure the Necromancer was what I played as when I was trying this ages ago. Ranger. I'm guessing that's like a pet style class. Classic Warrior. Wizard, maybe. Shadow Knight. What do Shadow Knights do? Feign the appearance of death. Should we just play a human warrior? Should we just be like, be, be a wizard, beast lord, beast glass? I played a necro, love kiting. Oh, we, oh, oh no, can I poll this? Does, can we even do polls on YouTube? I'm still learning stuff. No, slash poll does nothing. Slash poll. My goodness, thank you very much for the chat. That is incredibly kind of you. Um, the Arhaika, you are on my main monitor. Why? I mean, as soon as you put me there, I'm going to get cocky, I'm going to get arrogant, I'm going to start thinking I deserve to be there. Put me back on the second. Put me in between both of them. Minimise the window and straddle it between both screens. Make me work for it. But no, thank you very much, that's very, very kind of you. Right, let's... Barbarian Warrior, we could do this. Uh, you can do polls. I, you probably can, but I am bad at... bad at YouTube... And I still need to learn how to do all that stuff. So just, just just give me time. Give me time. Does Josh read the YouTube stream? Yes, I do. I should do anyway. Uh, Victor, I'm assuming that is the YouTube stream that I'm reading off here. Unless there is something different going on. I think right now that I'm only streaming to YouTube, not streaming to Twitch. Yes, I do. You're on my phone while my PC is on. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. I'm okay with this as well. Benny, thank you very much. Let's see... Right, so what class are we playing? What class are we doing? Necromancers, they learn to control and mimic the dead. Warriors, just straight up tanking things. Wizardy boys. No, that's absolutely fine. No, Akir, that's absolutely fine. You don't need to apologise for any amount of cash that people donate. That's remarkably kind of you. I've always said, you guys don't need. I will always provide as much content as I can for free. Always will. Roman, thank you for all the content you make. You're more than welcome. Love every video you publish. No, oh, I don't. Some of them suck, but some of them will be better. That I promise. Honesty and integrity is rare. Keep it up. Cheers from Germany. Thank you very much. This remark would be kind of you. So, I'll talk about why I didn't make a lot of videos recently in a minute. Let's choose a class first of all. I'm just going to go with Male Warrior, because I think I'm going to start basic. Like, if you want to judge a pizza place, you see if it can make a margarita. People are saying Beast Lord, Frog Necromancer, Frog Bard. Beast. We can't even take the Beast Lord. The Beast Lord, you can't take it if you're a human. You're not allowed to. People are saying Necromancer. Okay, fine. Necromancer. They're able to raise the dead, commanding them in battle. Necromancers learn to control and mimic the dead. Necromancers are very... Oh, hang on. A very self-sufficient class and often choose to adventure alone, though they can provide great value to a group as well. The Necromancer is an excellent choice for the independent player who enjoys a wide variety of abilities. You know what? Okay. Let's do this. Josh, Strife, Hayes. Let's see if it will accept that. I don't know if it will, because I'm pretty sure I've already got a character named Josh Strife Hayes. But let's see what we can do. Yep, the name is already chosen. Okay, it's fine. It's not a problem. You know what we'll do? Watch this. You ready? Two. N what? No, I can't put two. Is that the... Oh, no, that's the limit. Oh, that's a real shame. What kind of magical liquid is in the mug? I've got a cup of tea today. Oh, yeah. 
I've got a cup of tea. Um, Iskar is a good necro race. Okay, so hang on. People are saying that I should go with a different race. You know what? No, no. Should we be a lizard man necromancer? Why are we going with lizard man necromancers? Oh, enhanced regeneration, I suppose. We could be a scaly necromancer boy. I do like the, the human, though. The human look. I'm, I'm much more... Be a lizard. Josh Strife, be a... That's ultra hard mode. Be a lizard. Main screen content. Oh, thank you very much. Everyone that's uh, donating and cheering, that is remarkably kind of you. I just want to play... We've been streaming for like 10 minutes. Someone is going to be there going, please play the game. Please just choose a class and play the game. Gnome. Okay, if I don't choose, we're going to be here for absolute ages. We're going with human. I'm changing his appearance. Let's see what we can do. So, face. Okay, here's something that I really dislike. I very, very much dislike. You can click left and right on the arrows to change the face, but notice how it doesn't say, like, face one, face two, face three, face four, so you don't actually know where you are within this list of faces. It just changes. And because all of them look quite similar, I don't know... I can't remember, like, oh, I like five. Oh, I like three. Oh, seven was good. And then you go back to that one. So can, are we all in agreement that it's the eye patch is the correct choice? Here. I'm pretty sure we're all... We're, we're all in agreement that no one, I'm not doing a poll, but no one is going to, like, if you don't want the eye patch on this run, you can leave. It's okay. It's absolutely fine. Uh, hair color. Uh, right. What are we going? That's the Simon Miller look right there. That is the pirate Simon Miller. I think that's what we should go for. Oh, it's even got a little tie on the back for the uh, the eye patch. That's attention to detail right there. I like that. I'm uh, I'm absolutely definitely going with bald. This is a a bald necromancer. Hair color doesn't really matter, does it? To be fair, eyes. I mean, like the one good eye we've got. Let's make it. Um, I'm pressing. Oh, there we go. Let's go with. Let's go with blue. I have blue eyes, so we'll do that. Facial hair. What do we do as a beer? I am temp. Look at him. I am tempted. Does facial hair colour... Yeah, we can change it. it it's, should we go with a bright ginger moustache? Let's see what else we've got. We've got... Okay. Maybe a black moustache right there. Yeah, the black moustache and the eye patch. This man... This man knows what's up. This is the guy. Oh my god, that was a... He was like a strong man, like an old-style Victorian strongman stretching right there. Like Mr. Clean and Walter White had a night of passion together. Jesse, we need to clean. That's what he would say. Uh, let's not go with Josh Strife Hayes. Let's just go with Josh Strife. There we go. Enter the world. See what happens. Beautiful. The Mines of Glooming Deep. Now, please remember... Freddie Mercury meets Danny Trejo. Yes. Will I try it on December? Um, it depends how much I enjoy the original EverQuest. I might just play this for a while, to be fair. The reason I wanted to go back and do these old games was so many people say to me, Oh, older MMOs were better. Alright, cool. Let's rediscover them together. Let's go back and replay. The kobolds of Glooming Deep dig far below the surface of Norath, greedy for treasure and the dark secrets of the depths. They recklessly expand their slave raids toward the nearby settlement of your homeland. Many have already been captured. Few have escaped, fearing the further approach of the Glooming Deep raiding parties. Your kindred have chosen you to journey to your home city and deliver a plea for help. As the gods would have it, you are captured long before you reach the capital, alone and far from home. You find yourself beneath the lash of the glooming deep kobolds. You are relentlessly questioned about the note you were carrying. Regardless of your answers, the kobolds pummel you between interrogations. As the hours pass, hope of survival fades. Soon, you slip into unconsciousness. See, you get a story as well on these streams. That's what it's really about. It's about the story. For those of you wondering, yes, I do normally stream on Twitch, but I thought I'd try out YouTube just to see what it's like, to be honest. I thought I'd give it a go. 
Okay, cool. Here we go. Basic movement. You regain consciousness. Click OK to begin the EverQuest tutorial. OK. As you stagger to your feet, you realize that someone is talking to you. Check the main chat window below to see what he is saying. Main chat is this window back here. Okay. Hold the right mouse. Oh, we can zoom back, by the way. We are. Th that's us. See? That's. That, that, that's ours right there. I can probably move this movement tip window just there. So that's us. No shadows. Shadows are for cowards. Spacebar jumps. You kind of crouch first and then do a do a big a big jump afterwards. That's what we've got. There we go. Uh, w, A, S, D. A and D are turn. I'm not happy with that. That is definitely going to be remapped to strafe at some point. Uh, I seem to have turned combat on by pressing Q. That wasn't a good idea. Use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out. Yep, that's fine. X is duck. Okay, so pressing X allows us to do this kind of waddly thing. Not too bothered about ducking right now. Hold the right mouse button and move forward to lock up down left and right. Space price jump. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got all the basics so far. We've got all of the basics. Didn't I have Necro selected? I'm pretty sure I did have Necro selected. Has it given me something else? When I changed... Has it given me Warrior? Stealth Archer? Seems you forgot the frog legs. Should have gone. Has it given me a different character? Like, is this character? Achievements, blocked buffs, factions, standing spellbook. Your class resets when you change races. What? That's not... We're not having that. We are going back to... We are changing characters. Not having this at all. See, there was the first. There's the first mistake. There's the first thing. When you change your one thing, the other thing changes when it doesn't need to. Let's... Do we just quit to go back? Or do we go to options and then log out? Is there a way that we can log out to character select instead of logging all the way out? Type slash camp. Okay. All right, cool. You're about to camp. While we are doing that, let me just, just in case, turn this to that. Because I don't know if it's going to show all of my other character names and emails and stuff while I'm doing this, but we're going to make this work. Some of you might think that I'm really good at MMORPGs. No. No, I'm just persistent. I'm just consistent with the videos, that's all it is. It's very easy to pretend to be good at something. It's like how all of my opinions on... Um, uh, Ashes of Pantheon, Rise of Creation Fallen, have recently uh, gone viral. It's just people that know way more about it than I do calling me out for being wrong, which is fair. They should do, and people should continue doing this literally forever. Okay, we, we can't create another character, because apparently you could only have two. So let's destroy Josh Strife. Delete you. All right, hang on. Josh Strife needs to be deleted and destroyed. We, we, we live. We loved him. He was, our, he was our friend for a while. He was our Walter White slash Mr. Clean kind of rebus amalgamation all coming together. But now we must kill him. Sorry, Josh Strife. You must die. Now I can create a new character. Now we can do something... Well. I mean... I mean, I was planning on something different, but fate may have intervened. Just going to slowly rotate the camera around here. Now, unfortunately, you can't be a necromancer if you're also a sexy cat. This is the problem. I'm sure she does have wares if we have coin, but you can't be a necromancer. That's a, that's a shame. That makes me sad. Okay, so... In the future, we will probably look into being a sexy cat. But for now, we should probably play a human just so I can be a necromancer again. Look, I know. I know that you all want this. But it's not about what you want. It's my stream. It's about what I want. So we're going with human. And we're going with... Yep, this is the dude. Uh, we'll go with necromancer. And we'll go with appearance. We'll give him his, his eye patch back. Where are you, Eyepatch Simon Miller? It, thankfully, he's really easy to make again, because there's only like seven different combinations of things you can have. And are we giving him... Yeah, we're giving him the moustache again. All right, cool. So we're back to... We're back to where we were. Excellent. Everything's good now. Except... 
He is a necromancer. And I clicked necromancer. And it put my hair back to regular necromancy hair. What's up with this? Like, you click human. Oh, it just randomizes every time you click. Oh, it changes your class randomly every time you... So every single time you click on a race, even if it's the same race that you're currently highlighted, it randomizes what's in the top right there. That's really weird. Why? Why is that happening like this? I don't understand why that... Okay, right, cool. So we're going with human. We're going with necromancer. We're changing the appearance to look like we wanted him to look with the cool eye patch. We're get, making him bald. His hair colour's nothing. His eyes are blue. We're going to get there, guys. It's not a real MMORPG unless you've spent the first two hours creating a character. Facial hair. We just wanted to have a moustache. Facial hair colour, very black. Sweet. Okay, cool. That's our guy. He's human. He's necromancer. He is good. We are going with Josh Strife. We'll see if that uh, that is allowed. All right, sweet. It's Josh Strife. Minds of Gloomy Deep. Human necromancer. We got this. Here we go. Now, I've played a little bit of this. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I think some of you are going to be shocked at exactly how complicated this bloody game is. Have you ever played Dungeons & Dragons Online, the MMO? Not yet, a gibble, but that is actually on the list to play next. I'm going to be real with you. I was sat at my PC staring at my desktop, and I've got like seven or eight icons of games lined up at the same time, and I'm thinking, MMORPGs are actually really boring to stream, because the vast majority of them are either grindy, or when it finally you know does an action moment happens, you realise that I'm spending so much time focusing on the game and not enough time focusing on you guys that actually it's kind of hard to to entertain at the same time stuff happens. So what I thought we would do is just play an old game together and talk through it, and you can help me, because you guys know way more about this game than I do. Click OK to begin the tutorial. Here we go. As you stagger to your feet, someone has checked the main chat window to see what they are saying. So you need to actually read this window at the bottom here to work out what they are saying. Hold the right mouse button, WASD move, yep, that's fine. Um, Arius is an NPC, short for non-player character. The first step to interacting is to target them by left-clicking. Notice when targeted, the name of his head will blink and his name will appear in the target window. The target window being this window just here that I'm going to put to the top, so we always know what we are targeting. All right. Okay, targeted him. Many NPCs will talk to you if you hail them. To hail, press the H key. Uh, note that if you need to stand near the NPC, and in most cases, it is necessary to have them targeted. So to interact with an NPC, you need to not only click on them to target them, you need to also then be standing in front of them or close to them, and press H to hail them. Right, we have hailed. Um, Right, Arius responds to you in the main chat window. Notice the word escape is highlighted blue and set apart in brackets. This indicates a keyword or phrase that you can use to reply to Arius. Sabi, thank you very much for the donation. That is very, very kind of you. To respond, left click on the word escape. Right. You said, can I make this window bigger? I'm I was hoping that I could make the chat physically bigger, but I'll, I'll see what I can do about that later. Arius says, hello, hello, friend. My name is Arius, and it's lucky for you that I've good, good at binding wounds. You almost didn't make it. You can thank me later. For now, let's join forces and escape this dungeon. So now you have to click on the word escape to actually carry this on. You've been offered your first quest, Jailbreak. The task window displays a verbose list of all the steps associated with this quest. Remember, you can press Alt-Q to open the quest journal and examine your quest details. Press Accept when you are ready. So, this is the task we've been given, down the bottom. You have to actually slash say the keywords or click on the thing. Uh, chat font size 0 to 5. Interesting. Okay. Does that actually work? Hang on. Let's find out. Slash chat font size 3. That is not a valid command. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe you have to do a space. Chat font size 3. 
unless it currently is three. It does. You had, is, is it? Was it already on three? Does it start on three? Like, was hang on. Did I pick? Oh god damn! Okay, cool. It look at the change from three to four. My goodness. Let's try chat font size five. That's better. I can read that. What? This is not a video. This is not a video. I'm sorry. This is not a video at all. This is a live stream. It's like a video, but without the benefit of editing to make me seem really smart and clever. You have to... The thing with the live streams, as compared to the videos, is the videos are like two hours of me chatting shit, just kind of pushed down to 20 minutes of the really smart bits. And the live streams are just the unfiltered, unedited, random crap that comes out all between that. So when you watch these live streams, some of you might think, he's really not as smart as he sounds. That's true. Hashtag slash chat font size. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Right, so we've got the jailbreak stuff down here. Arius picked the flimsy lock to the holding cell you're both in, but getting past the next gate won't be so easy. To leave the detention area and head to the outer mines, you'll need the key from the glooming deep jailer. Kill the jailer, take the key, and give it to Arius. Remember, you can open the quest journal by pressing Alt plus Q. Uh, this task begins in the Gloomwood Mines. Let's accept it. All right, cool. So we've got the quest journal down there. We've got the quest thing on the top left to show what we've got to actually do. I like this. Have I seen Nark's video? I've been told about Nark's video. I know that I was wrong about something that I said to do with Ashes of Creation. And the reason I was wrong about the Ashes of Creation video was because I was getting it mixed up with uh, Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, which I was then getting mixed up with every other MMORPG that is in development and talks about what it's going to have but doesn't actually exist yet. So I want it to be good. I do want the games to be good, but I try not to get caught up in the hype of development because consider this. If I got caught up in the hype of every single MMO that was in development, I would do nothing than, other than just get caught up in hype all the time. This is why there are so many MMOs being made by so many companies and so many people talking about making so many things that I have to step back and say, you know what, I'll play your game when it releases. I'm super excited, I'm looking forward to it, I want it to be good, I'll play it when it releases. Josh is just a hater of PvP. No, not at all, V. I love player versus player. I don't think MMOs are designed to facilitate it well enough. Because the one of the joys of the MMORPG is constant uh, tracked progression. You get stronger. And PvP is often at its best when it is fairly balanced competition where the winner isn't known before the match starts. MMORPGs don't often gel well with this because for an MMORPG to feel like you are making progress, the progress needs to be consistent and constant and compared to other players. For PvP to be fun, you need to be tracked and matched against people who are roughly your equal. So you have a game where building a power imbalance is part of the game process because it's fun to be imbalanced against the enemy, but if you're building a power imbalance against other players, that does not good player versus player make. MMOs are amazing at providing many experiences. Balanced PvP is not one of them, because you're either angering the crowd who enjoy the fact they get constantly more powerful, or you're angering the crowd that want balance all the time, because then why would they play an MMORPG? That's the problem. I love player versus player, but I love player versus player in games that are specifically designed to do it the best, which I don't necessarily think the MMOs are always set up to. Right, you've accepted your first quest. The task list displays a list. We've got all there. Speak with Arius. Done. Find the Glooming Deep Jailer. Kill the Jailer. Get the key. Give the key to Arius. Okay, cool. Let's do this. You've accepted the quest. Done, 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 done. To complete, you must locate the Jailer. Oh, I just... That's the same thing. So I must just do this until we find the Jailer. Run over here. I'm guessing he's around here somewhere. If I were a Jailer... Do we have a map? Oh my god, look at the map. It's beautiful. It's it's anything if not hand drawn. Oh, that is that is old school. That is me sitting in my primary school with a bit of paper and a little little ruler, little pencil. This is amazing. Yeah, kill the jailer. See, EverQuest was doing it way before World of Warcraft did. Straight away. Caught you in real time. Love your videos and your commentary. Thank you very much. Time Splitters 2 was my favourite PvP game. Oh man, Time Splitters 2 was the goat of first-person shooters on the PlayStation 2. It was amazing. 
Right, let's keep doing this. We've got this. That's the map. I don't need that yet. Oh, the Kobold Jailer is, in fact, apparently there. And we are the little green arrow on the map. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we can... Do we have a mini-map? Or do we just make this into, like, a mini-map by just kind of, kind of doing that? All right, cool. Oh, I like that. Okay, now this is going to be a really small thing for people, but it's a big design thing that I really like. You can move the map independently of where you as a character actually are. So, if you put yourself in the middle of the map, that's fine. When you move forward, the map moves with you. When you move back, the map moves as well. And when you turn left and right. Now, the map always stays facing north, but your character spins independently. If I move the map, so my character is now at the bottom edge of the map, when I move forward, the map still moves forward, but it moves, it stays stable to where I've put it. That is lovely. It means that I'm never going to be off the map with my character, but I'm still free to independently move it around. That's a small thing, but that's really nice. If you click on the map, it path finds a spot for you. Oh, you beauty! Right clicking on the map generates a path found for you to the place. Because you requested a path, you must wait another... Oh, but you can only request one path every 10 seconds. So I click there, and suddenly we get a floating tunnel. Oh, that's that's actually really nice. It means you're never going to get too lost. That is a nice little thing. All right, cool. That's a good feature. I'm happy with that. That's, uh, that's nice. I like that. Is that wise? What's up, Ray Ray? What's happening, Ray? Tell me the things. Is there meant to be music? The game is silent. I'd not at the minute. Hang on. It's like really genuinely. It's, it's very, very quiet. But I can turn the, the background music up very slightly. So when there is music, you guys get to hear it slightly more. So there is music, but it's super duper quiet. All right, cool. I mean, that impressed me. Do I prefer... Quick question. Do I prefer... I see. Well, I'm going to have to go with the Sisters of Battle, the first one you put just there. I hope it's not a trick. Time to grab a cup of tea. It's not, Fox. Welcome. Grab a cup of tea. Come and join in. We're playing some EverQuest. Okay, the Glooming Deep Jailer found you. Uh, Left-click the Jailer to target him, then approach him and press Q to do auto-attack. So pressing Q turns auto-attack either on or off, and it seems that when it's on, you've got like a little flashing thing over on the right-hand side here, and it says auto-attack is on in the, in the chat box. All I then do is move up to him, and I should just start yeah, I've got no skills or abilities yet, so it's literally just a case of stabbing him as we do it. And you can see his health at the top. There's even a percentage bar. And my health is over here on the right-hand side. I kind of want my health to be a little bit more obvious in the UI. So I'm going to make that a bit bigger. It doesn't need to be that big. All right, sweet. So we've done that. You must acquire the Jailer's key. Find the key displayed in the advanced loot window and click the green check mark next to the key. So there's the key. We've got loot, leave, AC and AG. So AN, sorry, always need. Always roll need for this item. Always greed and never. Okay, interesting. So we've actually got a little, um, a little kind of choice of what you want to do in the future. So we'll take the key. Task completed. To give an item to another character, open the inventory by pressing I. Okay, so we've got our inventory over here. That's uh, that's a cool-looking drag item here to auto-equip. Oh, nice. Okay, got it. This is my first live stream I've ever caught. Please notice me. Love you and your stuff. I've noticed you. Welcome. I am trying as hard as I can to read all the chat. Is this going to be a YouTube video? So, what YouTube will do as opposed to Twitch is YouTube will automatically archive every live stream I do on YouTube and put them into a live stream playlist, which hopefully will not upset the uh, kind of algorithm for my long form videos, the kind of you know worst MMO ever episodes or the old MMO opinions and stuff like that. But it, what it effectively will be is these live streams will be available to people to rewatch and Visa will be able to clip them and upload them to the Josh Drive Says channel just as we normally do. Uh, press Alt B to open your spell book and scribe the spell you were given to start. Give me a second, Sweet Fry. Give me a second. I will be streaming many MMORPGs, EverQuest, Old School RuneScape, RuneScape 3, Elder Scrolls Online, Final Fantasy XIV, Warframe, Not Terror, EverQuest 1, EverQuest 2, whatever takes our fancy, guys, we'll be able to do it. 
I thought you were putting these in the Josh Strife replays. Uh, yeah, so did I, Red Sky. But if this is the easiest way to do it, I'll just do it this way instead. This is the fastest way. This is the uh, the fastest way to do it. Um, where do I shop for vests? Charity shops, man. Charity shops are the way. Okay, left click on an item, then left click on the recipient. So left click on this, left click on Arius. All right. And that will put it into his give thing. And then I give the key to Arius. Sweet, you finished your first quest. Arius will lead you deeper into the glooming deep mines where a slave rebellion is underway. The outnumbered slaves could surely use your help and have much to learn. The EQ button will be invaluable. So the EQ button is this one over here, and this is basically your main menu. So you click on this, you get the whole menu stuff. I know that the chat is on top of it right now, but that's everything that you could possibly need for all of the menu things. Oh, I think uh, we'll get rid of the inventory that we're, we're done now with this opening bit. So the live streams actually exist. Yes, they do. You're not deep fake AI generate. It might. I wish I could deep fake AI generate myself. Save so much time. The OSRS fight cave got me my first fire cape. No, no. You got you your first fire cape. There's loads of guides like that. You did it. You killed Jad. Be proud of that. Well done. Seriously, people always go, oh, Jad's easy. No, he's not. I've killed Jad more times than I can possibly remember. I still get that nervousness going on, you know? I'm still sweating. I still start to shake a little bit when you get to Jad. The, it's the pounding. It's the 45 minutes. Look, after 45 minutes of pounding, anyone is going to shake. Don't. It's a family-friendly stream. We're playing EverQuest. It was in the context of the fire... Just stop it. All right, cool. Right, what are we doing? Welcome to the Revolt. You've been given two new quests. The Revolt of Glooming Deep and Basic Training. Sweet as. Let's put the inventory over there. Let's. This UI is very busy. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And I don't feel that I need all of it yet. Right, let's go down to here. So we've got two new tasks over here. Can I increase the, the chat size of this? Chat font size, quest journal font size. Is there a way to increase the quest journal font size? What a random thing would I read. Fanon, thank you for all the great content. You're more than welcome. MMOs are so subjective and you need to keep games fine. Yeah, you do need to just find what you like, man. Find games that you enjoy. If I say that your game is crap, but you enjoy it, what I say doesn't matter. What I say is irrelevant. I love Neverwinter. It's bad. People will tell me it's bad, but I love it. I love the original Power Rangers movie. It's terrible, but I love it. If I if I say something is objectively bad, as in, like, it's legitimately low quality and we can all agree, like the sound is screeching or the graphics are blurred or the, combat, the controls don't respond well enough, we can all agree that something is objectively bad, but to say something is subjectively bad all the time, that's entirely, it's up to you, man. That's your personal choice. I was reading a lot of comments on a lot of MMO videos. By the way, if you're new to the stream and you think that I'm not actually playing a lot of EverQuest, that's kind of how these streams go. It's mostly me just chatting to you guys with a game in the background. I was reading a lot of comments on people, on videos about people responding to me being completely wrong about Ashes of Creation. And I hope I am. I hope Ashes of Creation is brilliant and badass, but I am quite jaded when it comes to MMOs in development because they change from development to release, and sometimes they stay in development for so bloody long they don't release, and I want it to be a good game. But someone was saying in the comments that um, they were like, oh, you know, stupid Josh fans only enjoying the games he enjoys. And I'm thinking, that's wrong, because if they only enjoyed the games I enjoy, we'd all be playing Neverwinter, and it would be great. I don't want any of you to blindly agree with me. I actually want people to call me out when I'm wrong. That that keeps me humble and keeps me way better. Why? There's somebody else there. Gherkin. Gherkin the Gnome. Look at him. Look at Gherkin the Gnome. I wonder if he knows. I wonder if Gherkin the Gnome knows. Right now, he is the star of the show. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that beard. That knife. Beautiful man. We can kick him. This is not a valid command. Please use slash help. I tried to kick the gherkin. Sorry, didn't work. Thousands are watching you, gherkin. Thousands of... Good. 
Godspeed, Gherkin. Godspeed in the glooming deep mines. All right, cool. What what else are we doing? Let's just move the window selector over to here. I actually, you know what? The UI is growing on me. It really is. I maybe don't need this to be as big as it is. Let's just move that to. Let's move the Gherkin aim to there. Oh, you can you can even move the map. That's quite nice. That that can go over there. I'm going to rearrange this entire UI at some point. Oh, and you can see all the passive buffs that are also on. On Gherkin, minor shielding, glooming deep guard. Oh, is that the passive buffs he's got on him? Do I have any on me? I bet I do at some point. I'll work it out in the future. What are your thoughts on in-game stores destroying the viability of horizontal progression like in Guild Wars 2? Anything that makes the game less fun for you sucks. Anything that makes the game more fun for you is generally good. Developers don't sit there, you know, rubbing their hands together at night going, Ooh, how can we make the game suck more? That's the executive's job. That's the lawyer's job. That's like the financial people's job. The developers sit there going, how can we say yes to the finance people while not actually doing what they're asking us to do because we know it would suck for the players and instead give the players the best experience they can possibly have. And uh, that's the endless battle between developer and financier. Huh, that's the stock. It is the stockholder's job. I swear to God. Oh, man. People that don't play games, investing in games because they want games to make more money, but they don't play games. They annoy me. Your buffs are in the top right. Oh, they are. Thank you. So let's have a look. We've got benefit from bonus experience. Make your way to the plane of knowledge. And that one, which is bonus. Changes a fall. Oh, sweet. The leaves change their color. Their multi-hued foliage gives you pause to reflect. You'll gain additional experience during this time. Uh, incorrect. Okay, we'll close that one. I don't need that. I'd rather level at the. Uh, I would rather level at the, the general speed. Okay, cool. Let's see what we've got going on now. I've got basic training. Hail Arius and learn about find path. Let's do this. Arius, where are you, mate? Arius. If I was Arius, where would I be? Is there a way to find him? Find NPC. There's got to be a way to find the NPCs somewhere. Actions, characters, navigation. Find zone, find path, players, casuals. To your left. Oh, I was over there. I was thinking maybe there was like a find NPC thing. I'm sure there is a find NPC thing somewhere. In fact, let's, let's work this out before we carry on. If there is a find NPC. Is it slash find? Control F? Control F. Oh, okay. Control F gets us the find window. We then find category descriptions. Oh, that, so that's what they do, and that's who they are. Okay, so where's Arius? There you are. Click on him, and we get a path straight to him. You know what? It may be an old game, but there's actually a lot of, a lot of nice little nifty things in there. That really do make it for quite a... And it's, it's a smooth gameplay experience. I like that. I uh, would like to ask a question about what I wrote under your hardcore PvP MMOs don't work. Maybe someday if you get the time it's about PvP, which would work. You're welcome to message me, but please understand that I have many people message me all the time about systems they think would work. And it's difficult because a lot of them would. But theoretically saying something doesn't mean that players will do it practically. What people say will work in theory very, very rarely works in practicality. Theories are easy to come up with. Everyone comes up with theories about what would and wouldn't work. It's um, it's very easy to theoretically solve a problem. It's very difficult to practically solve a problem. Right, Arius. Uh, click on you, press H to hail. Arius says, we found the other slaves. Not bad, my friend, not bad. No matter what happens in the mines, you should always be able to find your way back here. If you seek allies in other instances of these mines, I can send you there if you wish. Interesting. Okay. Right. Helps to know where you are. You can use the find by control F. Find Absor and hail him to learn about weapons. So control F, find Absor and hail him to learn about weapons. So we click that. That sends us over here. I want to get the map on the screen somewhere, but I don't know exactly what I want. Th this window annoys me. I really don't want this window. 
here constantly. Can I not? This is like the one window that I can't seem to move in the top left. This is very, very irritating. Yeah, I kind of want this here. You know, I'll just I'll stick the map over the top of it for the time being. I'll move that later on. That's a future Josh problem. The quest journal is over my action thing. Scornternity has offered you one tradable level 85 heroic character boost. That sounds terrible, because then I would be level 85 and have no idea what I'm doing whatsoever. I appreciate the offer, but let me level through the game first. Just let me let me go let me go slowly first, because I, when I boost to any kind of high level stuff, I have no clue what I'm doing. That's worth a lot of money. It's not something that's going to benefit me right now. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. See, this is why it sucks. When you play MMORPGs, you often enjoy the process of playing the game. And it's that process that you have really cool memories about and really cool stories of. And a lot of people do walk over to me and say, Hey, you know, I've I've played the game for you, so you don't need to play it anymore. I, I, don't, I don't want that. I, I want to go through the same adventure you had. I want to have the the same experience leveling through the game that you did. I see it all the time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the generosity. It's very, very kind of you in order uh, to, to offer something like that. But the experience that it would give me is not going to be fun for almost anyone involved, to be fair. Uh, how is the worst MMO video for Lost Ark coming along? Never played it. Never, ever, ever played Lost Ark. Here's the problem with boosting. It skips important context in the story. Yeah, it's boosting skips the game. I want to experience the game at least once, and then when it, if the game, you know, I've experienced it once, then I'll boost on like a second character or something. I am playing on the official thing right now, not on Project 99. This is the official thing. Did you not play this when it was new? I did not. I did not. You're more than welcome, Divine. But thank you for the offer, but let me play through the game first and see if I like it. Because, hey, how annoyed would you be if you gave me a really rare item and then I played the game and I'm like, eh, I don't like this, and then just stopped. So, that, would, that wouldn't be fun for you. Okay, Absor, you're the weapon man. Chat to me, Absor. Hello, Josh Strife. Before the Slave Revolt, I was forging picks and shovels. Now I'm making weapons so we can fight back. Mainly swords and spears. Simple stuff. If you give me your weapons, I can make you a better one. Absor is a weapon maker. You should already have a weapon equipped from your escape with Arius, but Absor can make it better. Open your inventory and remove your weapon from the lower left slot. This is your primary weapon where you hold weapons that you're currently using. Okay, so remove and give to Absor. Gotcha. Targeted Absor, click to offer one dagger. Lovely stuff. Absor has fixed your weapon and placed it back in your inventory. Sharpened dagger. Do we get to see its stats? Can I... Where, where can I find the stats of a weapon? Do you just have to drop it there and it goes there? I can't see the stats of the weapon annoyingly. I thought, like, maybe you, you right-click on it or something. Pick the improved weapon and drop it on the rectangular icon. Done. This will auto-equip the weapon back. Open your quest window, Alt-Q, to check the next steps in basic training. So... Alt-Q, so Control-F is find and Alt-Q is quest. Gotcha. Hold right-click to see stats. Ah, thank you. I thought maybe a single right-click would work, but no, you've got to hold right-click. Modified sharp and dagger, small, weight, one-handed piercing, base damage three, backstab... Oh, sweet, backstab damage. Okay. You know what? As a fan of old RPGs, I'm not hating this. And that's like that's like a big thing. This, oh, this could be bad. <laughs> I, I did have plans to make videos over the next week, but we might be ever questing it for a little bit. Uh, cool. So Alt Q. It's it, it's going to be a thing where people are like, so Josh, why aren't you making videos? I'm playing EverQuest, mate. Going through. Oh, do you want to know something really cool? Really, really cool. Okay. EverQuest has got twenty nine expansions. Its latest one, The Terror of Luslin, came out last year. Its next expansion is coming out next year. It's still being updated. Like, 29 expansions. That's insane. 
it's still going. Right, the next one is Hail Valara and learn about armor. That nearly rhymes. Control F for Valara. Where are you, Valara? There we go. Let's find you. Armor missions. Sweet. Let's grab you over here. Hey, oh, hello, Valara. I'm not a furry, but, you know, that that's a sexy looking cat. Valara has offered you as a piece of cobalt armor to keep you safe. Equip the armor by dropping it onto the large rectangular icon. Notice the armor automatically moves to its proper slot on your body, and it gets added to your character model, which is quite nice. You should stop at Planes of Power and call it a day. I have been told that, you know, Planes of Power is when it gets bad. Like, I haven't played it through there, but I have been told it's bad. Stop denying being a furry. Look, I'm not at Saber Spark levels of denial yet. Now, I'm still, I'm still well within realistic denial areas. I haven't got to him yet. I just got a, a notice on the little YouTube screen that I'm looking at. You guys want to know what it says? It says, now would be a good time to insert an ad. Creators earn more money by inserting ads. No. Okay, cool. Valara has offered you a piece of cobalt armor, and we've equipped that there. Some armor you obtain later can only be equipped by placing it... Oh, okay. Some armor can only be obtained by placing it directly in its corresponding slot. Dropping a breastplate onto the chest icon. When you do this, the armor becomes attuned to your character, and you will no longer be able to... Ah, so soulbound stuff. Okay, cool. So there is some some soulbound stuff there going on as well. Uh, right, so we've chatted to Valara. We've, um, we've hailed her. Dun, dun, dun. Once you've got the armor, respond to Valara's dialogue in your main chat window. Valara says... I'm glad you managed to escape the slave warrens in one piece. There are many others who were not as lucky, and others is in the little thing. Oh, what's happening with that? Thank you very much, Mitch. Thanks for not showing the ad. Mitch, you are very, very welcome. I appreciate it, man. Who's talking about RuneScape? Oh, that's... Oh, dear. Okay, so... I didn't actually mean to zoom in on her crotch. What happened was, I moved the mouse cursor over to the other window that your chat is in, and I went to scroll up the chat, which did work, but it seems that the scroll is still active in EverQuest as well. So when I scrolled the chat up to read what was there, that happened. But no, okay, that that's not... Shut up. <laughs> that's not what... Right, I'm going to... Don't make me film it on my phone and then upload it and to prove... We're going to move on from this. We're going to move on. We have many wounded and they need bandages. If you can find any glooming deep silk, bring it to me and I can make more bandages. I'll reward you with whatever burlap armor pieces I can find. Now that you have your sleeves equipped, notice in your inventory your armor glass, or AC, went up. The higher your armor glass, the harder you are to hit. Now you're not ad eligible anymore, thanks. Excellent. Hey, I'm glad. I'm okay with that. I just click close. I closed it down. I could run an ad if I want to, but I'm not going to. I don't want to. Maybe I will later. You never know. A little bit of chaos thrown in. Just as something really exciting happens in the game, I'll be like, ha ha! Advert time. Okay, here we go. Uh, she can make burlap armor if you bring me Glooming Deep Silk from the mines. So remember, Glooming Deep Silk from the mines gets us some armor. Help Zendia and learn about maps. Zendaria. Right, where's Zendaria? Let's just run around for a little bit, actually, and have a, a bit of a check. I kind of want to work out where I can put the map permanently that isn't up here in the top left. Because to me, maps in the top left are just... What are you doing? Maps live in the top right of the screen. That is where maps go. Who puts the map anywhere other than the top right? What are you even doing? Effects can go there, that's fine. I will probably end up kind of changing around all of these things. Let's move that. That's like the main button. That can go down there. I'm not bothered with the main buttons yet. Songs can be over there. There's a lot of buffs and passive stuff going on. I'll find a way to make it look all good. Jacob, my goodness, thank you very much. Be careful with Evercrack. Jacob, I am already starting to change the UI around, and I don't... 
I don't do that unless I'm thinking, could be here a while. It's a bit dangerous. It's a little bit dangerous. Blazer, thank you very much. That's remarkably kind. Working on an FPS while watching Josh play EverQuest. It's classic. Map should be in the middle. That's how we're playing the game from now on. Right, uh, we need to find Zenadia and talk a Talk about maps, actually. Zenadia and talk about maps. I want to try and find it without using the find function. I want to see... Oh, there she is. It's the girl with maps. Oh, the map actually goes transparent if you don't have your cursor over it for a while. So you, you can play like this. First person is the way to go. Right, we could play in first person mode. First person mode, from what I've been told, makes some people feel a bit nauseous. That's why I tend not to do it too much on games. Yo, Zandania. Click on you. Chat to you. Greetings, Josh Strife. I need some mushrooms to finish my healing potion for the wounded slaves. I marked the location of some mushrooms on your map. Can you bring one to me? I'm rather busy here at the moment. Right, you may bring up your map with M. Already done. Use your map to find the glooming deep mushrooms. Uh, pick one by left clicking on it and deliver it to Zandania. So, okay. The mushrooms have been marked as over here. If you want to show or hide the visibility of floors above or below you, you can use the height filter button. Interesting. To show or hide labels, use the labels. Yep, labels is good. Height filter is... Oh, nice. Okay, so that's that's our level currently, and that's other levels, because those things either drop down or go higher, but they technically count as high and low values. Oh, cool. So there's both an X, Y, and a Z coordinate for every single individual bit, unlike Guild Wars 1, which doesn't have height, effectively. That is actually quite interesting. Thank you for that. Captain, my goodness, thank you very much. First stream I've actually been online to catch. Well, welcome. First stream I've done on YouTube. Might be a regular thing if we do it more often. You're one of my go-to sources for why people should play Guild Wars 2. Because it's free and good. That's... I mean, I can go on, but those two things would normally convince me to to, to do something. If someone walked up to me and said, uh, hey, this thing is both free and enjoyable, I'd be like, all right, say no more. Let's, let's go and do it. Let's see what's happening. You appreciate the YouTube stream. Thanks for doing it. You're more than welcome. That's pretty much what I wanted to do. We're going to be here. We're going to be streaming. We're playing. Playing some original EverQuest. Free is my favorite price for anything. I mean, free is my favourite flavour of drink. When people always go, oh, what's your favourite drink? Free. That's what it is. Second favourite is whatever's cheapest. Additional map features, group, not bothered about grouping yet. So, let's use the mushrooms. Mushrooms apparently are over here. Oh, no. They are tiny! Holy hell! Okay, so... In any other game, you'd have, like, the word mushroom above it, and it would be glowing and sparkling, and it'd be super obvious, but it's it's really small. Okay. Wow. They are... Those mushrooms are much smaller than I, um... than I thought. Okay. Zenidas. Ah, do I need to give you the mushroom? <gasps> Let's see if I can remember this. Click on the mushroom. Click on her. Give... I'm learning. I You can watch in real time as the gears start to tick in my head. And I'm like, I'm making progress. I'm doing it. I'm learning stuff. Right. You've offered one glooming deep mushroom. That is pretty much done. And now she's taught me about maps. Help right hand learn about spells. Uh, control F. Right hand. Where are you, mate? Where, if I was right hand, where would I be? Over there. Cool. Hey, right hand. You're the one with the five head. You're the incredibly smart one. Right hand is offering you a beneficial spell. A buff, for a short. This spell will protect you in combat. All spells that are currently affecting you will appear in either the effects window, which is over here on the right, or the songs window, which is just underneath it. To inspect the properties of the spell, hover your mouse and hold right click. Okay, cool. So there's some more chat in the stuff going on here. Hello, Josh Strife. Not much of a fighter, but would you like to be blessed? Yeah, click on blessed. We get blessed. We've also been given another piece of armor that I can drop on and... Oh, no, it's um, it's not armor. It's a spell. Siphon strength. So that's my effect. Right-click and hold. You are blessed by the protection of the gods. 
Sweet. Okay. Nice. So I'm guessing that's just slightly more defense kind of stuff going on. Uh, is Mandingo in chat? Oh, Mandingo, there you are. Mad Dingo is just hanging out. I'm pretty sure Mad Dingo has been in the chat telling me for so long to play EverQuest. So we're going to give it a go. Right, we're giving me a spell scroll. To use a spell, you must first scribe a spell into your spell book and then memorize it onto your spell bar. There are a limited number of slots available on your spell bar. Describe, open your spell book by using Control B, because that's the book. So Control B is my spell book. And opening a spell book, I see, makes us sit down. Transfer the spell scroll to an empty box. This will start the scribing process. It takes a little bit of time. So we'll scribe... What was the spell? Uh, siphon Strength. Just there. And then the purple bar appears, I'm guessing. Has that already, already happened? That was fast. I'm assuming that was like just an instant thing that happened. Can you do a review of Albion Online? It's on the list, man. It's on the list. It's just going to be a... Uh, it's a long list. Right, the spell is in the spell book. That's fantastic. Now we transfer the spell book to the spell bar, which I believe is this bar down here. All right, cool. So a thin purple progress bar. So we go from siphon strength. Left click on the newly added icon and left click there to empty spell slot. And will it start to, to add it on? Is that how it works? Just scroll it down because people keep talking and I can see a lot of other people's chat. The spells icon will appear in your spell, but left click on this and left click on an empty spell slot on your spell bar. Simply... Ah, oh, it's there. All right, cool. So it just takes a bit of time, but it is done. The running joke is that you are second screen content. What is your second screen content? Lot, first of all, thank you very much for the donation. That's very kind of you. My, my primary monitor is you. Okay, seriously, if I sit face onto the camera, the first thing that... I are you trying to set it up so your face can be seen perfectly? So we've got Caligo there as well. Lots. Oh, you can see other people's chat in there. There's lots of other people's chat. So my main uh, my main monitor is you guys. I've got the YouTube thing set up. I've got the chat on one side. And on my second monitor is EverQuest. So you guys, to me, are primary monitor content. I'm second monitor content to me. I put you first, guys. You are first. It's how much I care about you and love you. All right, cool. The spell bar will begin flashing briefly. So from now on, it is also possible to memorize spells by right-clicking and choosing your spell from the context menu. HP... Oh, sweet. Okay, so if you right-click, HP buffs and taps. Health, power tap... Oh, that's nice. So the spells are pretty much all divided down into, like, categories. That's actually pretty clever. I like that. A guide in EverQuest. When I played, there were no guides. Well, thank God there's a guide now, because it's a complicated game. Right, all done and done. To cast a spell, you must have memorized the spell in your spell bar. Select the spell, and then click on the spell. One, two is life tap, and three is whatever that is. Right, okay, so I can probably... Okay, so... Q and 1 is like auto attack. Do I have a hot bar somewhere? Unless my hot bar... Oh, okay, so my hot bar was underneath my chat. So 1 is melee attack, 3 is minor shielding, 4 is life tap, 5 is siphon strength, 6 is my spell book in general, 9 is sit down, and find is on 0. Okay, so there's actually some stuff going on hotbar wise that was already there and I can just get this chat window I'll sort that chat window out later but for now that seems to be in fact if I put that there does that go oh look at that it almost goes underneath that little uh, little window okay sweet most spells require mana mana is represented by the blue bar mana regenerates over time regenerates faster when you're sat down cool okay sweet sounds pretty good so far I'm, uh, I'm pretty much on board. Thank you for all the years of amazing content. Uh, there are many more to come, Princess, but thank you very much for the donation. It's cool seeing you stream old MMOs. Could you try and do a video on FF? I want to. I, I really do, but getting onto FF11 now is... It's a job unto itself. What are the odds that Ashes of Creation will save the MMO genre? I mean, I'm... 
I'm literally playing a game from 1999 that's got its 29th expansion coming out next year. Genre's doing fine. Will Ashes of Creation release and be a good game? I hope so. Does a, a really nice development log guarantee that? No, not really. It's just going to be a case of, I hope it's a good game. I hope people enjoy it. I hope it provides value to the players. Until then, I don't really have any interest in keeping up with the development of it, because if I kept up with the development of every single MMO, I would do nothing else with my life. I will have to just step back and say there are people way smarter than me who are specialised into Ashes of Creation, which I obviously confuse with Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, who are going to be able to tell me that it's going to save the genre and be amazing and all this. Truth is, there's lots of good MMOs out there. Find one that you like, play it, see if you enjoy it. Hail Prathon and learn about communication. All right, so control left to find Prathon, wherever he is. I find it weird that people say, you know, you've got to save the genre. You don't. There's lots of there's lots of games that are really good. Prathon, grouping and communication. Talk to me, Prathon. Prathon recommends forming groups with other adventurers to improve your mutual chances of survival. Good idea. To invite another player to join your group, target them and then click invite in the group window. If the other player invites your group. Okay, cool. So we can pretty much form groups and stuff. Uh, slash say, slash tell, slash g for group. Uh, standard chat functions so far. Shout, out of character. I like how there's an actual out of character or OOC chat, which in most games it's almost uh, expected that you're playing out of character anyway. But in, in EverQuest, it's like, hey, we're going to give you a special out of character chat because we're going to try and facilitate roleplay on every single one. There are so many MMORPG games, and I I can't keep up with the development of all of them. And the reason I don't bother keeping up with the development of all of them is what they tell you that you're going to get in development might not necessarily be what you get when the game is released. So I will I much prefer judging a game when it releases instead of judging a game off what they tell me it's going to be when it releases. It's almost like a chef promising you that the meal you're about to have is amazing and then showing you all these new cooking techniques they've developed and all these new utensils they've got that nobody else has and all of these classic inspiration things they're using and how the kitchen is state of the art. Okay, that's great, but I'll judge the quality of the food when you just give me a plate of food. It's all well and good telling me how phenomenally fantastic it's going to be. Just give me the plate of food. If you spend... I've tried to use this analogy so far many times before. People think that long development time means good and short development time means bad. If it takes you eight hours to create a beautifully plated plate of shit, it is still a plate of shit. If you can knock up a fantastic three-course meal in an hour, fantastic. Bang on. I'm not going to judge the development of either of these things. I'm going to judge the final product when it's given to me. That's why I don't want to get too hyped in any of the development, because it's very easy to say stuff in development. Did you see Narc's video? I've heard about it, but not watched it yet. Is it true you're thinking of Pantheon? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I got those confused, because to me, um, it's Pantheon Rise of the Fallen and Ashes of Creation. They kind of both... They didn't grow in popularity at the same time, but people were getting equally hyped about both of them. And they just mixed in my head, because I'm not going to put too much weight into anything that's in development yet. I would rather just get the product, and then judge the product for what the product is. Alright, here we go. Let's keep going. Uh, main window is one chat window. New windows. Right-click your main window title bar and select new chat window. Oh, wow, there's loads of options. Okay. Scroll bar, highlight new messages, tab highlight color, chat window, rename window, always chat... Filters, time step, chat size. Oh, sweet. Oh, hang on. You can actually make the chat size bigger. Can you make the chat size bigger on the quest journal? Background, texture, color, arrange. You can't make the chat size bigger in that window, which is a shame, but I'm glad that you can do it with this one. Yeah, I, Duke Nukem Forever, prime example of people telling you it's going to be amazing. There were people comparing Pantheon positively against Ashes of Creation. 
There are people who will tell you Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is going to be the next big MMORPG in just the same way that there are people telling you Ashes of Creation will be it. In just the same way there were people telling you that New World will be it. It's very, very hard to get caught up in the hype of everything. People are so desperate for a new thing that as soon as someone promises them a new thing, they get caught up in it. Please, feel free to take a step back. You don't always need to be caught up in the hype for something. I'm excited. It's not that I'm not excited for these things happening. It's that I'm not believing the hype until they give me something. Someone once, uh, and I was trying to, I'm going to make a video on this because it's an interesting uh, thing to look at. Someone said to me that they don't enjoy MMORPGs anymore. They don't enjoy them as much as they used to when they were a kid. And I said, okay, whatever game you played when you were a kid, how long did you play it for? And they're like, oh, hours. Every day after school, come home, hours invested into it. I knew all the NPCs, I knew all the shortcuts, I knew how to kill all the bosses, I knew all the little in-jokes. Okay, cool, and how long have you played this new game that you're trying to recapture that magic with? Ah, oh, day or two. Sometimes, if you invest a lot of time into something, you form a connection with it. Not necessarily parasitic, not even necessarily Stockholm Syndrome. Sometimes it's a genuine, loving... A deep connection, even with a game. And you have that, and you enjoy that, and no one can take that away from you, and then when a new MMO comes along and you jump in and you play, you're almost expecting that game to have the emotional depth and connection and complexity and richness that you've spent years forming in another one. Imagine if you have a, a fantastic relationship, and then the relationship ends for whatever reason, either good or bad, and then you start a relationship with someone else, you won't have all those little quirks. You won't have the same love language. You won't have the same connection to that new person because you haven't spent enough time with them to build it up. Sometimes when people say, oh, I had my most amazing MMORPG ever as a child and now I'm just jumping from MMO to MMO, you sometimes aren't giving those new games enough time, enough chance to form the same emotional connection that you had with an old game. People say, oh, I love World of Warcraft and I play a new game and it's not the same. Okay, well, maybe if you played that new game for the same amount of time that you played Warcraft, you would have maybe a similar connection to it. But time investment is a really big thing. People need that. I plugged in my new second monitor and I came up, look, I've told you before, the only reason you buy second monitors is so you can have me on them. I am so, I'm this close to just approaching monitor companies and being like, hey, I have got an advertising campaign for you. Why aren't I on Twitch? Just wanted to see what YouTube was like, to be honest. And so far it's fine. Twitch has been dropping the ball lately on lots of stuff, but I decided to give YouTube a go and I like it. You're on my second monitor. Good, 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 good. Yeah, but it's a similar argument to it gets good after 100 hours. Absolutely. It absolutely is. But I think when people say, oh, this game isn't as fun as another game, yes, the gameplay does need to be accessible. Yes, it needs to be tight, it needs to be objectively well made, it needs to have some subjective enjoyment to you, but it's also impossible to form the same emotional bonds within five hours that you've spent five years forming. It's it's impossible to do. Uh, hail Basha Alga and learn about hot bars. Right, where is Bashar Algar? Let's see if I can find... There you are, Bashar Algar. Hot bars. Oh yes, the troll. The troll that right now is is a little bit... I mean, that that's very much me in the mornings. That What you see here right now, this is very curated. Now, this is remarkably curated, guys. Now, that's, this, that is what I look like when I wake up. Does your stream on YouTube now? I will stream on both. All right? I'll stream on both. Why not? See how it goes. Let's hail this person. Right. Hail. Speak to Basha Algar. This task begins in the mines of, Gleep, of, of Gleep, Gleepwood. Yeah, we're in Gleepwood now. Most important part of the bashing, it killed. That's the first thing you learn I can show you. This task begins in the mines of Gloopwood. Hail Basha Algar. I have hailed you. I'm clicking on you, Basha Algar. Then I'm clicking H to hail. 
And now, did you give me something? Hang on, have I missed something with this? Speak to Basher Algar. The task begins in the mines of gloop of of wood thingy. Anyone else getting the urge to download EverQuest? Do it. It's going to be bad, but we're going to do it together. EverQuest fans will be watching you to do group content regardless of zone. Yeah, I'll try. They'll want to show off the puller roll, which is going to wait. Hey, I will try everything. You have to accept the quest. Oh, I see. Right there, down there. Accept. It's okay. It's okay. So let's click you and hail. Hot bars are the primary tools for playing EverQuest. You can use the hot bars assigned to different keys. Yep, good so far. Cycling, you can switch which particular page of a hotbar you're on by using the up and down arrows on the right side of the bar. Okay, so we've got... God damn. You've got ten different hotbars. Ten cycles of four hotbars. That's, that's impressive. That's very impressive. Okay. New hotbars, you can get EverQuest menu to add hotbars 1 to 10. That's fine. Drag and drop hotbars, right click on an empty hotbar slot and use assign social. Right click, assign, change size, assign social. Page 1, AFK, Anon, Spit, Bug, Consider, Dual, Feed. Okay, cool. So there's lots of interactive social stuff going on because EverQuest was designed to be, as people say, EverQuest is the world prettiest chat room. The best way to look at it. Drag existing abilities. Yep, that sounds fine so far. Okay, select a reward. Interesting. All of the options of the rewards include worn totem. Effect, blessing of swiftness. Can I clip? Tiny. Increases run speed for a short time. So I inspect, preview, and select you, which puts a worn totem into my inventory. Just putting that up there. There we go. EverQuest 1 is only a chat room if you play it like that. It can be very fast-paced. I am hoping that I'm able to get some independent fast-play stuff. They've done a decent job of making the starting experience better over the years. Yeah, I, I, so far this is okay. This is not bad. I'm alright with this. Uh, will you dual stream in the future? Maybe, if Twitch allows it. I, I'm Obviously most of my focus is on YouTube. I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy making the videos. And I want to live stream on YouTube much more if I possibly can, but we'll uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes. So you can personalize your hotbars, activate clear assign icon, clear icon. That is a worn totem. Okay, so law no trade, tiny unmodified, blessings of swiftness. Where does a totem get equipped to? If I equip this, does it get equipped somewhere? Effect, Blessing of Swiftness. Is it just a thing that I can use? I'm trying to work out where this goes to specifically. Let's see what else we need to do. Help Ar Okay, because we learned about hotbars. Help Arius to let him know you've completed your training. It's a, it's a clicky. Right-click it. Oh, so you right-click the totem and it casts the spell and it's a buff item. Okay, so it's a buff item, recast delay 10 minutes, blessing of swiftness, and the blessings I can see over here, the effects that I'm under, blessing of swiftness, is increases your run speed for a short time. It doesn't say how much it increases, it just says increases your run speed for a short time. But you also said that I can put this on the hotbar. You can put clickies on your hotbar, you don't need it equipped. All right, we'll stick it on the hotbar at some point then. So we stick that down like there. It doesn't seem to want to to go onto the hotbar. Maybe you can't put it on the hotbar when it's on cooldown. Click and hold. Clicking and holding. Clicking and holding. It's... Uh, it's not. To attach your hotbar, click and hold the item. Hold left click on the item. Okay, so holding left click. Ah, so it's not pick up. It's drag and drop the use of it. So left clicking to pick something up picks up the actual item. But holding left click puts the effect of the item onto your cursor 
and then you click on there. That's a little bit right. I can. That's a bit finicky. It's a little bit strange, but I, I, I get what they were going for with that. Right, we need to chat to the thingy Bobby dude and let him know that we are pretty much done with all of our training. Hail Arius, let him know we've completed stuff. Hey, Arius, man, how's it going? Arius has given you a Kobold Skull Charm, a powerful item that will protect you in combat and enhance your abilities. Open your inventory, drop it on top of the rectangular item. So the Skull Charm goes onto the Charms thing just there. Uh, to inspect an item, right-click and hold. Cobalt Skull Charm. Okay, so it's just a flat boost of 5 Strength, 5 Stamina, 5 Intelligence, 5 Wisdom. It's not necessarily been modified. It's just slot 1, type 7, general group empty. So nothing specific for that yet. Okay, cool. So that's how we learn about stuff. You're finished with basic training. Hail Guard Ra Guard. Rat is if you have not done so already. We are we are fighting through. I like the idea of the complexity that's here. There's a lot of complexity. Guard Rahitiz, this dude here. How's it going, man? Select a task. Clearing the vermin nest. The vermin infesting these tunnels threaten our scarce provisions. Go and kill them. Okay, cool. Let's accept that. Clearing the Verming Nests and the Revolt of Glooming Deep are... Right, okay. Speak to Guard Rahitz. So the Revolt of Glooming Deep is a multi-quest, mega-quest, that needs me to complete Clearing the Vermin, Spider Caves, Rebellion Reloaded, Spider Tamer. I've got to do all of these to get out of the mines. Okay, gotcha. So right now we're on Clearing the Vermin Nests. Kill... Eight cave rats, four cave bats, and four vermin nests. You should go visit the necromancer training. There are some spells I don't have. Okay, so control F. Let's find... Is there a necromancer? Soul, soul binder? Who would be augmentations, beginner missions, corpse, summon, hot bars, maps, missions, one, two, three, four. Technically, you can just leave. Where, if I were a necromancer... Would I be? He has no money. You need your skelly spell. I do have no money. That might be a problem. Like I've got n absolutely no coins whatsoever. The spell vendor's near the river behind you. Thank you. Let's go and have a look. All right, so we've got all these guys over here. Do any of these have quests for me? Because I seem to remember a quest that involved swimming. I have this really weird memory of swimming. It's got swimming. That means it 100% beats the... Uh, it's already beaten the New World. Test. It's got swimming. And it's got air remaining. It's got a nice a swimming animation. Hail the NPCs. Let's find out. EverQuest is so complicated, you need 2,000 people to help you. Yet. Yeah. Strife Herald Information. Is that... Thanks. Did you just make a player in order to just follow me around and tell me what to do? Most quests are very lo-fi. Uh, put in the shoes of a noble adventurer. I like that. I like that as well. Okay, so I need to find possibly... Aha! Cleric Paladin spells, melee tomes, druid ranger spells. Here we go! Enchanter. Necromancer spells. Tinkerer. How's it going, Tinkerer? Let's chat to you. Before we were all captured, my brother and I were renowned spellcrafters. Of course, the kobold didn't care. We've been converting this drill cart. Want any spells? It's been a while, but I can think I could teach you a couple from memory. Interesting. So, press H to hail you. Do I get... Where do I access shop? I have hailed him. It's been a while. I think I can teach you some easy ones from memory. Right click on him, we'll open him as a vendor. There we go. Thank you. This is why I need 2,000 of you to tell me what to do. Followed you for a bit, but always wanted to say hi. Hi, Asher. Hi to you. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Welcome to the stream. Hot tub stream when? As soon as I can afford a hot tub, guys. It's there. Don't you worry. Why is there a YouTube stream now? Just felt like it. Just felt like it. 
All right, what have you got? So stuff, 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 stuff. Spell, Bone Walk. Right, that is one gold, two silver, nine copper, and I have none of any. I'm getting that's platinum. So like platinum, gold, silver, copper. Okay. Yeah, I have none of these things. What is Bone Walk? Animates an undead servant from the remnants of the fallen, consumes bone chips when cast. Yeah, I can't afford any of these things. So I'm just going to have to go and stab some stuff in the face until I have money. That's how it works in real life. Go and stab things until you have money. I will come back and talk to more of these dudes, because I'm pretty sure the Revolt of Glooming Deep is going to have me chat to someone. Optional. Speak and learn about mercenaries, learn about that... Arcandia? Arcandia? Speak about Busted Locks, Kobold, Pit Fiend. There's lots of different quests we can go and do, but I like having a, a task list of stuff to do. Cavorting Bones is the one you want. Okay, I don't have that one yet. People are saying run some ads. Nah, not yet, guys. Not yet. We'll run ads at the end. You know, when we get to the very, very end of the stream, what we'll do is we'll always hang around, chat for like 10 minutes, and just run a load of ads. That'll be the best way to do it. That way, the stream makes money, but you guys don't get fully infested by ads while we're actually, you know, having a good time. Actually streaming the game. Okay, I don't want to target me anymore. Oh, we've got Mad Dingo with us as well. There we go. First time viewer here on your live stream. Long time MMO enjoyer. Good man. Lord of the Rings Online, Runes of Magic, Perfect World. Uh, got a question about the worst MMO ever series. Go for it, dude. Go for it. Have I heard of LEGO Universe? You know what? I have, but I didn't get a chance to play it too much back when uh, it was actually out. So what targets enemies? I'm guessing tab doesn't, but that does. Auto attack is on, walk up, start stabbing. We've got minor shielding, life tap, and siphon strength. What does life tap do? Drains your target's life energy, siphoning between five and six hit points. So if I aim at you, cave bat, and then cast life tap, which is that one just there. Okay. All right, sweet. So I can actually just siphon off their uh, their hit points. I like this. Where do I get my... Is there a corpse that I can loot at some point? So that was four, was it? Life tap? Yeah, life tap is four. Then I just stab stuff with Q. Josh on YouTube... Sai, thank you very much for the donation. That's incredibly kind of you. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. We're going to stab this bat with our dagger while I just kind of stand around. Maybe it doesn't always drop stuff. Did someone steal my kill? Are you guys kill stealing? How dare? I mean, to be fair, that is like the... Uh, that is the genuine old school... The old school experience. Advanced loot. Oh, so you've got to click on it from there. Personal loot, none of that. Do you have to click on that double click? Right click? I'm trying to work out how I... So I can use four to do... I love how Josh has an entourage. I often do end up having an entourage with this. Have you heard of Project 99? I have indeed. I have definitely, definitely played Project... I've played bits of Project 99, but I don't know it well enough to be considered like an authority on it yet, so don't quote me anything. If I enjoy this stuff, then I will get back into the old school stuff, but I want to play the live game as it is right now. My husband and I are big fans. We were hoping you could settle the debate. Do you eat an apple with the stem? Vertical or horizontal? It's a trick question. Stick the entire apple in your mouth and then just gently move your jaw left and right, crushing it, grinding it down. Just let your... Uh, you know, let your teeth slowly but surely digest the whole thing. And then as soon as it's small enough, just swallow the whole thing. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. Oh, there we go. got some loot. Oh, bone chips. I actually needed bone chips, so we will always need on bone chips. Uh, do I need rat ears? I don't know. Uh, do I need rat paw? I'm going to take it anyway. I'm going to take all of the stuff anyway. When did I move to YouTube? Uh, today, apparently. Like, literally today. Now I'm going to click on this cave rat, and I'm going to press 4 to cast Life Siphon onto it. Then I'm going to press Q to turn on auto attack and start stabbing it with a blade. Now, this is my first day live streaming on YouTube. 
It has been screaming at me to run adverts. I do not know what happens when you click run adverts, but I am tempted to test it just once because I want I want you guys to tell me how many adverts you get. Because if it's too many, we ain't doing it again. Like this is the test, and then if it's like one, then uh, that's fine. If it's like, you know, oh you got four unskippable ads, then no, that that's terrible. Okay, let's let's work this out. Uh, insert ad. We've clicked the button. Let's see what happens. I, uh, I I'm just gonna stand around now for a bit. I'm gonna loot, loot what's here. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with the insert ad, but you know we'll we'll be there for science pretty much. For science, I'm pretty sure it's only one. None. I use ad block. Ad block for the win. Fantastic. I use everyone's like ad block. I mean, I'm the same. Let's be fair. I'm the same. Two ads. First was skippable. That's not. Bad, you know. I got two skippable ads. Oh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm okay with that. Ad block, no ads. That's fine. One skippable, two ads first skippable. So some of you have got skippable adverts. Some of you have got unskippable, and most of you have got ad block. That to me, yeah. I mean that 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 that's fine. How about this? If I ever run adverts. <laughs> Hang on, why is there a tiny gnome called Joff Streich? Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't take you anywhere, can I? I literally cannot take any of you anywhere. This is why I don't play games on stream. People are like, why don't you play games on stream? This is why. This is exactly why. Even has your hair. Father, why have you abandoned me? All right, so we'll stab some rat stuff. We've got some bone chips. We've got some more things here. Uh, was it Alt-Q to get the quest list back up? Why is there a giant rock in front of us just there? Alt-Q. What was the quest I was on? Clearing the vermin nests. Kill eight rats, eight rats and four bats. Let's kill you. Do you have a favourite treat? Oh, you know what? I used to... I'll tell you what. If I have a favourite treat with my tea, I'll tell you what right now, Okay. I am a real sucker when it comes to a biscuit. I swear to God, you know, you, you give me a good biscuit. Chocolate covered. Proper thick, solid, chocolate covered biscuit. We're, we're good with that. I'm fine. Could have done worst MMO for Tibia. It's on the list. It's on the list. Will the real Josh please stand up? Well, I could, but then you'd all be aware that I'm wearing jogging bottoms and it would kill the illusion that I'm not in a suit all the time. People message me saying, oh, you know, do you wear a suit all the time? No, I'm sat down for like five hours at a time. Obviously, I'm just wearing comfy trousers. Suit trousers all the time. Phew. What do you want about? Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. You've got to have a bit of class, but you've also got to be sensible with your choices. Now, I know that it doesn't normally take, um, how long we've we been streaming for now? Like, uh, a while? Why do rocks keep happening? What? What? Why do rocks keep a pit? I don't understand why rocks keep happening that I can walk in and out of unless it's part of the scenery. What? Illusion. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Why is there a rat called Rufus? I thought I left you in Skyrim. I thought I'd foos rodard you off the side of a mountain and then shot you in the face and told your mum not to contact me until she was paying child support. I don't appreciate you turning up in Norath. But, okay. Fine. Uh, what have I got to kill? Uh, so, eight cave rats and four cave bats. More cave rats need to die. Let's just live tap some more stuff this way. Rufus is mean. Okay, let's turn on. So, is the person that gets the kill, the person that gets the last hit, is this a last hit kind of game? Or is this a... Is this a first hit? Is this a most damage kind of game? What server, what server am I on? Um, that's a good question. How do you find out? Let's just live tap you. It's the most DPS. R it's the most damage. So DPS pretty much always get the drop. I see. Okay, so we stab that. Am I a DPS? I don't know. I might be. 
Let's find out. Let's just keep casting Life Tap and see what happens. First ever Josh Drive Age stream. Greetings from Hungary. Well, welcome. Thank you very much for the donation. That's remarkably kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Are we there? Yeah. It's Retail EQ. Yes, it is. Necro is indeed good DPS. Sweet. I'll just I'll keep going with Necro then for a bit. I know it's quite slow right now, but I'm sure it'll uh, I'm sure it'll get better eventually. We've got a lot of so those bone chips. They are what I use to summon skeletons, aren't they? So when I start summoning stuff, I'm going to need far more bone chips. Is there a button for automatically target? Because tab only seems to target me. I'm sure. Oh, okay. So you can cycle with. So tab cycles from you to your previous target. All right, I'm, I'm learning. I'm slowly getting there. Tab is you to your previous target. F8. Oh, yeah, that, uh, that conveniently placed key. The one that's directly next to either hand. The one that's on the mouse or the one that's on the WASD keys. Of course. Why wouldn't target be F8? Okay, let's just start stabbing this... Uh, this rat just here. I kind of want to turn auto attack on literally all the time. You can remap tab to target. Yes, I will. I will at some point. First time here, Dragon Quest Ten. First of all, welcome Zed. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. I will be playing lots of games on stream. Right now, EverQuest 1 isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, I don't need to buy all access yet. Uh, one more cave rat and two more cave bats. Cave rat. I quite like my life tap skill being like a ranged attack, which also heals me, because I can pretty much just spam that. Now, when I cast it, I want to put the casting time in the center. When you get attacked, here's a question for anyone who's here. When you get attacked and you're in the middle of casting a spell, does it interrupt the whole spell or does it simply knock down the casting bar a little bit? Guys, be nice. I want to stream more on YouTube. I'm liking YouTube. How come I'm not on Twitch? Look, Twitch has been dropping the ball recently on a lot of things. The Twitch con uh, wasn't as well organized as it could have been. It wasn't as safe as it could have been. They're not really treating the Twitch partners as well as they should do. There's a lot of complaints going on, rightfully so, about a lot of this kind of stuff. And I just wanted to give, um, give YouTube a bit of a go, to be fair, see what it was like for streaming. And you know what? It's... I'm fine. Now, here's something that really irritates me. Those of you, you might have seen about the whole uh, Twitch um, unfortunate streamer who jumped into a, a foam pit and terribly injured herself. She broke her back in two places. And before that, so there was like two podiums and you got given these big kind of foam cudgels and you fight with them and you knock someone off the podium and they fall into the foam pit. Uh, someone fell off and broke their knee. Someone fell off and broke their uh, ankle. Someone fell off and damaged their arm and then someone jumped off and broke their back in two places. I used to work at a trampoline park. I know a thing or two about foam pit safety because it was drilled into us from the start. Safety in those kind of things is paramount. Like, if someone gets injured, you shut stuff down and you work out why. And you work out whether it's your fault or whether it's their fault and what can be done about it immediately. Foam pits were at least two meters deep. They had so much foam in them. They had springy floors underneath. They had wood underneath that that would bend and break if something really big hit it. So there was still some give there. There was some absorption of all that power. It's... Um, had I have been working at that as an event, I'd have said, this isn't safe. This is, this is not safe at all. There is no way that two foam blocks on top of concrete is going to protect anyone. Now, people have said, oh, they've got a waiver. You know, they can't do anything. They've got a waiver. Waivers don't protect you from negligence. There's a lot that waivers can protect you from, but negligence is not one of them. Now, I need to go to... Okay, destroy four vermin nests. I'm just going to go this way and see what is this way. I don't know what's this way. That's a rat. Will the rat leave me alone? It will. Vermin nest. Okay, so the graphics are actually quite nice. But anyway, the waivers only protect the company, provided the company have created a safe environment for those waivers to exist within. It's, um, yeah... Click those big stone piles. And those ones around here. These things. 
Stand close, right click. Do you mean these things here? I don't think they do anything, unless it's these things. So, is this the nest? This thing just here? Okay, targeted NPC is a cave bat. I'm trying to click on this nest. Just to use slash open on the piles and the barrels. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's cool. Oh, is that how you do it? Does it explain that to me? Okay. I don't know if it explains that to me specifically, because that did count as destroying it. Right. Need to sit and mend up. I am nearly out of MP, that's true. So the barrels can also be slash open. Alright, that's quite interesting. Where would the rat's nests be? What does this sign say? That sign just says, like, work. Right-clicking should work. Open might bypass any interference from people around you. All right, let's have a quick look, see if we can do it again. So just kind of right-click on this pile of stones. Uh, it's still... It's a vermin nest. Okay, so right-click says a vermin nest. Q to attack. Okay, can you just attack the vermin nest? I mean, I'm attacking it right now. Let's see what happens. It's not... It just says destroy four vermin nests. Oh. oh, okay, cool. So you can attack vermin nest and it works as well. But you can also open vermin nest for some reason. Right click does not function as open. You can attack it or use open. Recently looted ones are untargetable. Oh, so it doesn't actually get rid of it in the overworld. It just almost like despawns it, but it doesn't despawn the model. I like this. This this makes sense. This makes a lot of sense. All right, cool. I'm okay with this. Um, ah, that's a vermin nest there as well. So I can target you. Can I target? It's it's quite finicky to target the vermin nest as opposed to anything else. I'm guessing it just doesn't let me target it because other people have looted it recently. And I'm trying as hard as I can to find, like, an unlooted vermin nest. Like that one. No, it's 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 a bit, um... Yeah, wouldn't have these target issues in the first place if it was... There's a hide corpse command. Okay, cool. Warning, all, always, all but group and NPC hide corpses too, but not just player corpses. Interesting. Your own corpse will never be hidden. I still can't target it. Ah, I can target this one now because it's further away. And then you just attack it, but I can also do slash open. So using slash open just pretty much destroys it straight away. Targeting things from far away? Oh, I see how it says 0% health up there. Maybe once it's... Uh, you know, once it's refreshed... We get the stuff back. The hide corpse command must be amended with one of the options it presented. Right. Okay. So you have to do it. Try it in first person mode. So I can try open. No, that vermin nest. Oh, but now... Has it now been... And now it's refreshed. Okay, cool. So you need to wait for it to kind of respawn and refresh. And then we can do it again. Like any other NPC, the... Okay, cool. Gotcha. Watch it just play an ad for the streamer instead. The nest is dead and then it respawned. Hey, Josh. First time watching. Always like the appeal of EverQuest. But wish the... Yeah. Wish the game had aged more gracefully. Without a doubt. Without a doubt, man. It's not aged too gracefully. Speak with Valara in the Slave Revolt Camp. Slave Revolt Camp, I believe, was up there. Cool. Let's go chat to Valara. I'm learning slowly. I'm going to make mistakes, but thankfully there are thousands of people who will call me out on them immediately, which I think is pretty impressive. My cat walked on the keyboard. He paused and muted the stream. Why do cats hate you? I mean, my cat only likes me when I'm feeding her. That's about it. If I'm feeding her, she loves me. Speak with Valara. 
Where are you, Valara? There you are. Oh, I know you. You were the attractive cat. I see. Reward choices. Glooming Deep Cobalt Pantaloons. I'll take some pantaloons. Thank you very much. Have they been... Uh... You can enable click-through self in options. Oh, interesting. All right, we'll go with click-through self in a second. Pantaloons have been equipped. I like that. Uh, what else now? Begin the fight for freedom. Do the clear in the vermin nest. Speak to guard Virin and finish the quest. Spider caves. I am going to finish every goddamn quest. Auto equip if slot is empty. That's quite useful. I like this. Why not Project 99? Because I've never played EverQuest before and I wanted to play the live version, if you will, before I then decide to go back and try the other versions and stuff like that. Uh, unrest grouping is the dead minds of EverQuest. Could you do it sometime at some point? I mean, yeah, at some point. Jacob, I will try and do as much as I possibly can. Thank you for the donation, too. I want to experience as much as I can with the help of you guys. So I'm uh, just generally seeing what EverQuest has to offer. All right, guard Virin. Let's chat to you. See what's going on. Spider Caves and Spider Tamer Guggen. Let's accept the Spider Caves quest. Let's have a look at the Spider Caves quest. Spider Caves. Loot for Glooming Deep Cocoon Silk. All right. Cocoon Silk is going to be over here then. Let's go and give it a go. Dealing with cats is always a transaction. It's very true. What I love about P99 is how helpful and talkative people are there. I never got deeply into EverQuest. About the time I started playing MMORPGs, World of Warcraft had pretty much taken over it. People weren't talking about EverQuest as much. People were talking about RuneScape. People were talking about uh, Guild Wars 1, that kind of stuff. So, for me, when I started, EverQuest was kind of in its, uh, in its sunset years. Obviously, it's carried on. Is the game still populated enough? I mean... It's populated enough. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the world's most popular MMO, but it's definitely populated enough. Right, a Gloom Spider Link. Can we get any kind of information about how tough they are? You know what? Let's find out. Let's just cast some spells. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we got this. We'll stab some stuff. We'll do some more life taps. This is fine. The game's got a lot of charm. It has. I was 11 when EverQuest came out, a bit younger. How about that Bryza... Oh, so you know what, guys? I had two choices of what I was going to play today. I was either... That is a backpack. What is that? Size, large, container, closed, capacity, 8. Oh, so the backpack is like an extra inventory. Cool, so when I close that, the backpack stays open. But the backpack is also an inventory. Oh, 20 bandages. They restore your health when you rest. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Someone send in the old EverQuest tutorial. Look at Josh being all crisp and HD. Hey, I've invested in a camera. And by that, I mean that Elgato sent me a camera. Because even they were fed up of the 720. Even they were really, really bored. You need to use the bind skill. Oh, do you? Okay. We'll have a look at the bind skill in a second then. You have become better at channeling. I'm just crafting life tap repeatedly. Is this one of those games where you get better at a skill by doing it? Gotcha. So the more I do a skill, the better I get at it. So the more I cast certain spells, the better I'm going to get at casting certain spells. Gotcha. So let's just keep casting life tap, which means I'm going to be able to steal more life off people. After the stream with an exclusive chest hair cam, yeah. I've now hidden the goods away. It's cold in England. All right. It's a little bit cold. I need to loot four glooming deep cocoon silk. Right. She needs as much cocoon silk. Get her hands on. Right. Sneak into the spider's hatchery south and harvest some cocoon silk from the spiderling cocoons. Okay. So we need to find the cocoons. Not necessarily here. If I were a cocoon... Aha! Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. Cocoon cluster. I'm guessing it's slash open. And that cocoon silk. Fantastic. 
That's a no trade item. Are you sure you wish to loot it? Yes. May as well kill you over here. Spiders attack you with struggling depression. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that what it says there? Does it actually say that? Because, I mean, whew, a little close to home there, spider. Yeah, we, uh, we play games to forget the real world. Josh, why are you streaming on YouTube? Did you already explain it? Ah, me and Twitch, uh, we, we got into a, a fight. And, like, I said, you're not my friend anymore. That, that was it. That was pretty much what happened. Uh, no, in all reality, Twitch just has been messing around uh, streamers a bit. Twitch has been... That's a stronger spider than I expected it to be. Twitch has been dropping the ball a lot on various things. Okay, we've got a spider behind me and a Gloomfang Lurker in front of me. Uh, Mad Dingo may need to take on something. Thankfully, Life Tap is keeping me alive. This is why I played a Necromancer. This is why we played Necromancers, guys. Because then we can just so far life steal away. Look at that, see? Beautiful. Now we can just turn around and stab this dude. Also, someone healed me, so thank you for that. I'm assuming it's in the combat thing. Uh, yep. Okay, cool. So you can actually see when you heal people. I like this. Why don't I just cast minor shielding onto myself? Let's just cast minor shield. Insufficient mana. Uh, you know what that means. That means it's time to sit down and wait. There's a spider on my head. There isn't, though. I mean, look. There's an eye patch on my head. Why don't I invite them to my party? That's a, that's a good question. I will do that in a moment. Cavorting Bones is saying some stuff. Sweet. Okay, so we can go and get some... Oh, can we go and get some stuff? Can we sell this stuff? I'm guessing rat paw is just something that you sell. And then maybe you sell some rat ears. And then we can go and buy some more necromancer stuff. I think we can sell some stuff. And then go and get some more necromancer things. Sound good to people? I mean, it sounds good to me. You should do reactions during downtime. During downtime, I'll just run an advert. That's what'll happen. As soon as I rest to recover my mana... You must also recover your mana. Like this. Look at that. Professional streamer. Professional streamer. You wear the rat ears. Let's just... Uh, can you stick them on your own face? Now here is a very important... A very important thing. Okay? I will... Nev Mobile gets naught ads. Ad block too strong. I will not run ads during any actually important moment of gameplay. Like, if we have to sit down for five minutes and gather mana, I'll throw an ad on, but I won't ever do it to interrupt anything actually important going on. I think that's the uh, the best way of doing it. Look at that professional ad block. YouTube red deflects. Hey, look, guys, if you've got ad block, that's fine. So do I. Everyone gets it. Everyone understands. So, hang on. A spider bites... Me? Pretty sure that wasn't attacking me. Just strife. Oh, it's it's Joff Strife. Oh my god. It's Joff Strife is stabbing lots of spiders. You guys can do that. I'm gonna go and try and fight Spider Tamer Gungan. Uh so I'll help you. Here we go. Teamwork. Teamwork making the dream work here, Mandingo. We got it. You going to add YouTube subs? No, not really. See, we're doing fine. See, Mad Dingo's doing okay. We're burning down Guggen. We're just slowly sapping him through. I've got like a strength sap spell on six. I can, uh, oh no, that's five, sorry. Siphon strength off him. Then I'll keep siphoning his, uh, his health away. Best way to get a hold of you. I will be more than willing to sit work and answer all the questions about EQ1, 22 year veteran. Honestly, just message me on Discord. Best way to do it. Drop me a message on Discord. Absolutely easiest way to do it. And uh, I'll be able to chat. Now, I can't promise I'll be putting too much time into EverQuest, but so far I am enjoying it. Okay? It, it is decent so far. It is not terrible. 
it's just going to be a case of learning all the weird intricate systems, memorizing as much as I possibly can, and then completing all the quests. Now I know there's not necessarily a main quest line. I know that there's not really... Is that a pile of bones? Open. Open the pile of bones. Find a rusty dagger. Well, I've got to loot four more glooming deep cocoon silks. So let's see if we can find some more of those cocoon silk things and loot them. Oh, there's the chatbots. Fantastic. I was I was wondering when we'd get them. I'm almost offended that it took like two hours before we got to them. Come on, chatbots. You can do better than this. Try to play at least to the mid-30s wise and you have a full uh, suit of necklace. But yeah, I'm going to try and do that. Are these Session Zero streams going to be on YouTube as well? So far, there's no plan to change Session Zero away from Twitch. That will be something I need to talk to the rest of the Session Zero crew about. Let's open this and grab you. And then let's attack... Oh, I'm being attacked by two things, am I? All right, sweet. Time to fight. Now, it's not a problem. I am being hit. But I can cast Life Tap and get my own life back. This is fine. They don't know Josh. What's that? Sad they don't know Josh yet. Who doesn't know me yet? I want people to know me. Yeah, the chatbot should appear every 15 minutes. I'm almost offended they don't. The unholy triad of spiders, bats, and rats. What would MMOs do without spiders, bats, and rats? No one knows. No one has any idea. Okay, I'm trying to target that spider. There we go. It's kind of... I want to be able to click through corpses. Once this stream is done, I am definitely going to be working out some click-through corpses... Uh, working out some more specific layouts and stuff like that. I don't want to do it on stream because that would be a really boring bit of content. They invited you to their party. Where is that? I'm looking for where the party invite is. Group. Follow. Party invites. Looking around the screen and not seeing it. Main chat. Just watch for the... Click follow. Ah, okay. Right, so where do you see who's in the party? Oh, it's Joff Strife. Fantastic. Follow means you were invited. Gotcha. Thank you. I'm learning. I'm learning things slowly. There's lots of... Because to me, follow means physically follow someone in the game while you walk around. Is that spider attacking me? I am definitely going to need to change target nearest enemy from F8 to tab. That's one thing I'll be doing. Do these streams remain on the channel after they end? Now, here's something cool. Yes, they do. These streams will immediately be archived on YouTube, so you can go back and watch any of them whenever you want to. I should do a video about Ultima Online. I will do. I will be doing videos about Ultima Online. It'll just be a, uh, a thing that I eventually slowly get around to. Why can I not take that? Oh, do you have to do you have to need or greed on this specifically? Okay. I will that's glooming deep silk. I need that, so I will loot it. Alright, cool. Oh, thank you. So the, the parties distribute the loot out to people. I get it. It's a proper party now. We've got at least one person in the group. Painting my first one miniature. Nice one. Good choice. Which army did you go for? You can even roll back the stream and watch it from the beginning now. YouTube does have a lot of features, a lot of quality of life features that Twitch does not. That is that is very true. There is, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that YouTube has done really well. RPG MO, yes I have. People are saying YouTube's better than Twitch, people are saying it's different. Um, I, I don't know yet, but I'm going to find out. So we're going to stream on both for a while, we're going to see which people prefer... I think YouTube is probably going to be better for the future of the channel in general. Venomfang? He sounds like a lovely chap. Let's attack Venomfang and see what happens. Oh, Venomfang's actually a lot stronger. And I'm nearly out of mana. This is fine. Yeah, don't worry about this. We'll be okay. I like Twitch better for the streams. I'm currently watching the full worst MMO ever series. It's a lot of videos, man. 
A lot of videos to go through. Hopefully you and don't lose experience. If you die, do you lose XP? Is that is it one of those lose XP on death games? Because I've got to admit, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a big not to level six. Oh great, fantastic! You haven't been getting XP for anything you kill because everything is everyone is kill stealing you. Yeah, pretty much. This is why I normally play games like this off stream. You lose experience and may even level down. Only thing I see bad is that streams compete with videos for notifications. Ah, yes, they do. What that will mean, Zaid, is I need to have actual specific stream times so you guys know when to expect a stream and when to expect a video. You lose XP in your level if you're not enough experience to cover. Okay. Okay, not good. You can turn on target of your target so you can see the tank's health and know when to run. There's a lot of stuff to do. More Lord of the Rings online videos? Not yet. Not yet. If you get a res, you get 96% back. The experience loss just generates a player economy where clerics can charge for reses and will travel to you. Oh, I see. Okay. Interesting. I like this. I saw someone in the back say hello from Ukraine. Thank you very much for saying hello. Hope you guys are doing okay. I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a difficult time, but thank you for swinging by the stream. Hopefully we can all just chill in Norath together. Right, I need to loot some more of these things. The spider cocoon. Oh, there we go. One more thing. Action. Manage. Do I need to wait? Give to... Oh, so can I choose... Can I choose to give it to myself? Yeah, boy. Excellent. Apparently you can just give yourself your own items. Excellent. That's what I need more of. We need, I think, you cannot loot while a hostile creature is aware of your presence. What? Is it someone, oh, is it someone in the chat still fighting? You cannot loot while a hostile creature is aware of your presence. You can't pick stuff up when you're in fighting. What? Well, let's play the Elder Scrolls Online again. I like the Elder Scrolls Online. Can I give it to myself? It's such a D&D question to ask. Yeah, pretty much. That's just... The spider... T oh, there we go. I've got it. I need one more Glooming Deep Cocoon Silk. There is a Glooming Deep Cocoon Silk up there. Can we just spam jump? Yes, we can. We can just spam jump. But then somebody else took it. That's fine. We'll wait for a bit. There's one over there, but there's big spiders. Lots of big spiders. I think I'd rather just fight this dude, to be fair. Stab a spider to death. They do that to prevent people from ninjing in combat. Yeah, good at that. My hair is on point. Oh, thank you very much. That's remarkably kind of you. First time catching your stream. Jay Corb, welcome. First time streaming on YouTube, to be fair, man. First time doing a live stream, I thought I'd go back and play a classic MMORPG because people are always saying to me that the older games were better. So I thought, you know what? Let's put that to the test. Are they better? Are the older games actually better? You know what? They're not terrible. They're definitely not terrible. Oh, what is that? Chunk of bronze. Coarse silk. Glooming deep silk. I'm going to go free grab for that one. And then just take. All right, cool. Right, I need one more glooming deep cocoon silk. Have you checked out the stream deck and its potential to play the more mainstream MMOs for the PC? No, not yet, but I've seen people do some good stuff with them. I've seen people playing Guild Wars 1, uh, Guild Wars 2, even EverQuest. Project 99 was made to work on the stream deck. I've seen people try and get Final Fantasy working on it. There's a hell of a lot of stuff. There's a, uh, a lot of things. I'm actually not too bothered about any of those ones. I just need the Glooming Deep Silk. One more of them. I think it's got to be the Cocoon Silk. So I kind of need to wait for there to be one more cocoon that I can loot. And when, when we find one more lootable cocoon, I'll go with that. Now, I don't seem to be getting much experience. I think that's because everyone is kill-stealing. 
how do I hide the corpses of dead enemies? Because I keep clicking on them by mistake. I'm guessing it's slash hide corpse all or something? Say cocoon again. That's, that's how you pronounce it. Hello from Oregon. Will it be the worst MMO episode on Warhammer? Eventually, yes. Hide corpse always. Hide corpse looted? Hide corpse always. Okay. Coarse silk, glooming deep silk. No, it's got to be the cocoon silk. I don't need any of those things. So, hide corpse looted. Any corpses you loot, except your own, will be hidden when you finish looting them. Is it worth just hide corpse all? And then you can hide corpse and make them visible again if you missed loot. Right, just hide corpse all. Okay, yeah, cool. That way I can just see exactly what's alive and exactly what's dead. That is so much quicker. So many of these MMOs are not available for Mac. No. It will show some options. Never played EverQuest. First MMO was Fly for Fun. It's not a terrible game. All the games are less commercialized. Very true. EverQuest is full of lore and potential. Never meet its potential by focusing on superficial stuff instead of its rich world. Yeah, I can I can understand what you're saying with that. Thank you for the donation, by the way. It's very kind of you. I can understand that people wanted a more old school style game. Let's just open this last one. Go with the cocoon silk. Where is that? Cocoon silk. Let's just give to myself. And I think, brilliant, deliver four cocoon silk to Valara. That's nice. If we, can I right click there? Uh, Control F, Valara, where are you? Click you and get a thing going on. Sweet. Oh, so it just leads you straight up. Straight up, there we go. I like how even the pathfinding is like, yeah, don't worry about the steps. Just go up, it's fine. Just go up, it's totally okay. Run past everything. Follow Josh, a frog. I don't want to be a frog lord, but sometimes you don't get to choose who you are in life. I mean, I wasn't really... I wasn't expecting to wake up today and command frogs in EverQuest, but apparently sometimes life just throws you a curveball. First stream on YouTube? Yes, it is. Thank you for the fiver. It is indeed. Uh, I decided that we'd see what uh, see what streaming is like, see if it goes well. Right, offered you a piece of cobalt armor to keep you safe. She's already done that. I need to deliver four glooming deep silk. So that's that one just there. Quantity four to you give. Sweet, and we got a robe. Okay, so this is weird. Um, it seems that the red is actually better. Now, normally I would say that red is a negative, but it seems that here red is good. So AC plus four, which takes me in total to plus eight. And strength plus one, dex plus four goes to plus ten. Is red good? Uh, subverting them expectations. Tyler, welcome to the stream. What's my favourite MMO? Probably Old School RuneScape. Old School RuneScape, uh, Guild Wars 2 is very close as far as just an online experience goes. Guild Wars 1 is better as an RPG. Old School RuneScape is a great slow burn online adventure. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, enjoy. That is the stats you get at your level now. The others is max as you level up. Red shows what you have. The parenthesis shows what it is once you reach the desired level. So, it's recommended level 10. If I equip it, I will only get plus 4 instead of plus 8. But when I get to level 10, it will get me up to plus 8. So what you're saying is, you can equip items when you are under-leveled, but you won't get the full potential of that item until you are the correct level. That's an interesting system. I suppose what that was interesting is... If you die and lose experience and lose a level, it might not forcefully unequip items from you. It will simply let you keep wearing them, but at a slightly decreased... Okay, yeah, I get it. 
I get it. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, now I actually look a bit like a necromancer. I'll take that. Look a bit cool, you know? A bit proper. So REQ is required and REC is recommended. I like it. This is good. You've been granted the reward for spider caverns. So from what I can tell, the more of these quests I do, the more prepared I'm going to be when I move into the actual world. I like this. Welcome to the YouTube stream space. Thank you very much. Thoughts on YouTube streaming so far? Seems fine. Seems totally fine. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's hanging out. I'm not particularly bothered about making it uh, you know, a full-time permanent thing. Well, I wasn't at the start, but now I kind of am. I think we're going to stream on YouTube much, much more. Question. Will I be having another retro review? Was it any good on Josh Strife Plays soonish? Yes. So, Brad, because it is the spooky month, I am hoping the next retro review I'm going to be able to do is the original PlayStation 1 Resident Evil 1. Or something like Clock Tower or Fatal Frame. Some classic jump scare, spoopy thing from the PlayStation 1 or the PlayStation 2 era. But yeah, we've got, uh, we've got stuff. There is definitely stuff planned. That like-to-viewer ratio is insane. Michael, I actually can't see what the like-to-viewer ratio is, but uh, I'm just assuming people are having fun. Oh, 1,688 likes and just shy of 2,000 viewers. That's pretty good to me. I assume that's okay. Oh, I've got that thing in my inventory that gives me a, a boost, don't I? I forgot about that. I checked me out. Is there any point holding these items like rat paws and rat ears and hides and bat wings? Should I just sell these? These items can be used in trade skills, hearty meal, iron ration, wooden arrows. Should I just sell them? Okay, sell the junk, get the skelly spell. But let me sell the junk. I think there's some, some shops over here. Now, do these guys let me... Can I sell stuff to them? Purchase slash sell. Um, what do I have? Item. I'm guessing that's what I've got. And that's what they've got. So... Is that what I've got up here? Show only items I can use. That seems fair. Right. Click in your inventory. Okay, so if I go from, like, right-click here... And, oh, sell. It would sell for one silver, would it? Okay. Uh, Eleven. Oh, sweet. Okay, I get it. I'm pretty sure I'm getting it. Necromancer Value will sell stuff to him. Sweet Fry, this is your moment. You are like, yes! I get to do stuff now. I get to say things. Click on the times you have and press sell. Click on the items, then sell. Sweet. Uh, can you do, like, multiple things? No. Rat ears, sell all of them. Bone chips I'm going to keep because apparently I need them. Make, first time catching you live. Thanks for keeping my second monitor company. Make you more than welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Hold shift to sell the stack. So we can just... Okay. So if I have multiple things like... Uh, what's this? Bread cakes? I probably don't need glooming deep silk. All right. Let's sell the spiderling legs. Let's sell this rusty dagger. I'm going to keep the skin of milk, because that's probably important. This is a refreshing drink. Drinks restore mana, and food restores health. Is that correct? Would you be interested in playing on P99 at some point? Our community will support you. It's a fun place to hang. Jacob, I will eventually, but please understand that playing on Project 99 normally needs at least some knowledge of how EverQuest works, as it's a very hardcore style old game with none of the qualities of life that I'm, I'm enjoying without even knowing about. So I will probably enjoy this for a bit and then go back to P99 if I can find time. Okay, I will definitely try. Don't sell bat wings to vendors. Okay, food gives statuses at some point. If you have everything in a bag, you can click the bag and sell that. Oh, that's useful. Only reason I saw you were streaming is because you're on my front page. That never happened on Twitch. That's what we need more of. That's what we're doing. 
Has Josh moved from Twitch to YouTube? Not permanently. I'm probably going to do both, but right now I am very much enjoying streaming on YouTube. It's much easier. I probably don't need four arrows, uh, so I can sell you guys. I'm going to... So Iron Ration is... This is a hearty meal. What does it do, though? So, I mean, it says, like, it's a meal, but what does it do? Does it actually say what it does? Is there a thing where I can know? There's a hunger and thirst system. Okay, I'm I'm going to slowly work it all out. I will read more things. Cavorting bones, cavorting bones. Everyone's saying cavorting bones. So I've got two gold now. And you guys are saying cavorting bones. That one just there. Now what does that do? Animates an undead servant from the remnants of the fallen. Consumes bone chips when cast. All right. Cavorting bones has been purchased. There we go. Please don't cavort with the bones. I will cavort with whatever I want to cavort with. Right, what else we got? Bone walk. Let's see. Level needed. SHD 14. Shadow something? Neck 8. Animates an undead servant from the realms of the fallen. Consumes bone chips. I'm guessing it's just like a better version of it. Because if we go over here to the... EQ bit, and then we got a character, and is it like achievements, or is, what's the, is it C that opens the character sheet? No, C does not seem to open the character sheet. Interesting. So, uh, Shadow Knight class. Oh, cool. Okay, level 8 better pet spell. The streamer minion build again. Look, that's the best build, because then I don't have to pay as much attention to the game. The spell vendors have spells for items levels, and some are direct upgrades, eyes for the inventory. Is there like a, a character thing where I can see what my various levels and stats and things are? Because it said that I need to have Shadow something, and also Necromancer. Is there a way where I can see that? That's Sora! Hey man, how's it going? So, players, actions, alerts, character. Achievements, maybe? Nope. Oh, generals? Okay, category, achievements, general, class, epic, epic 1.5, epic 2, progression, level, keys. Okay, so this is just stuff that you can unlock with things. Clinging darkness is a snare for kiting. Okay, don't look at the achievement window. And there's lots of stuff here. So stuff that we can slowly get to. Total completed, 0 out of 3,887. That's a lot of stuff. That's You already have the character sheet open. Is the character sheet this thing down here? Okay, so we've done in the shop. Oh, I see stats. Right. Heroics, spells, shrouds, alt currency, merc. I'm guessing that's like a, mer a um, mercenary kind of thing. Skills. Oh, god damn, there's loads. Okay. There's a lot of stuff. Adv advanced. Jeez. Okay. Alternate advancement window. God damn. There is so much stuff that you can get better at. There really is like a lot of stuff in this game. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's a very, very... Very old, very deep, very powerful game, to be fair. It's very, very deep. Thank you for the great content and honest opinions. You can tell you truly love what you do. Oh, thank you very much, Tom. Welcome to the stream, man. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Like I say, every single one of my opinions is objectively correct, apart from possibly the one on Ashes of Creation. Because, and this is important, I was thinking of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Um, because Ashes of Creation is, as we know, an MMORPG that is promising to be a fantastic MMO but hasn't gone into full release yet. And I confuse that with Pantheon, which is an MMORPG promising to be a fantastic MMO that hasn't gone into full release yet. And I just kind of lump them both together into a group of MMOs that haven't released but are promising to be great. And that's a, it's a pretty big group, and I don't really keep up with any of the development in any of them until they release uh, like I said, I gave the analogy before that it's like a chef telling me they are going to cook me the most amazing meal 
I have ever had and promising me that it's going to be fantastic because of all this new technology and all these new things they've made, all these new utensils, all this new amazing high quality food they've got. And then until you actually deliver me the food, like I, I can't judge it. At the minute I'm judging promises. I'm judging ideas. Don't forget to buy disease, cloud, fear, and clinging darkness. Okay? See what else we can get then. So, disease, cloud, fear, and clinging darkness. Conjures a cloud of disease, causing five damage initially, and one for every six seconds after. Okay, cool. We'll buy that. Uh, have we got that now as well? We Yep, just one is cool. We've got disease cloud. You told me something else we have to get. The backlash on that was dumb. I mean, I got it wrong. That's fine. I, I totally got it wrong. AOC does have animal husbandry. Pretty close to taming. I just... People who are super into keeping up with the development of whatever game they are currently obsessed with can't understand that there are multiple other games also being made at the same time that people are equally as into keeping up with the development with, and the developers of every game that's being made are promising you that it's going to be a good game, because it's bad marketing to not do that. You can't judge the game until it releases, or until at least there's a big playable public thing. I know there's an alpha for it out right now, and apparently it's pretty good, but I think a lot of people are going on promises as opposed to practicality of what they can do. Yeah, I'm very much enjoying EverQuest, though. EverQuest's quite good. I'm liking this right now. Uh, what else was I meant to buy? I was meant to buy Disease. I was meant to buy something else. You said something else. No, Josh, you don't understand. I am the centre of the universe, and my bias for games will bend reality to make them good. You know what? I know that you're joking, and I know that you know that you're joking, but it is scary how many people believe that it is really scary clinging darkness and fear thank you so clinging darkness what was that one okay cool summons a clinging darkness that binds your target's feet decreasing their movement and does eight damage every second for six seconds that's not bad okay we'll take one of those yeah we'll buy a clinging darkness and fear was it clinging darkness and fear Fear. A booming voice fills your target's ears, causing them to flee in terror. Right. I don't know if I'll be able to use that yet, but we've got it. Okay, cool. We can sit away. And now what we can do is I can scribe in my spellbook. What was the spellbook again? Control S. Alt S. Control B. Control B was the book. All right, cool. So Control B is the book. And now we... Click and drag. Cool. Now, wasn't there a, like a purple bar that I had to fill up while I was scribing this in? Not sure where that purple bar is. Use the book icon at the bottom of your spell gem bar. Oh, just there. You click that and it opens and closes the spell book. I like it. So we've got Cavorting Bones. We've got Disease Cloud. I'm going to be a good necromancer with this, right? Did someone say Joe Cat? Is Joe Cat with us as well? Joe Cat is without a doubt one of the funniest. Absolute funniest. Oh, you actually are there. Thank you for being such a good MMO creator. Oh, thank you very much, Joe Cat. That's really kind of you. If it is good to detail that I'm always curious about but never want to spend the hours mucking through the reviews and forms to find the info. And thank you, Joe Cat, for teaching me the slice. The spooky slice. Thank you for teaching us all to always be casting. Um, oh, mate, if you haven't seen Joe Cat's videos, go and watch them now. The, the laugh to time ratio is so good. Like, I swear to God, there is a joke every few seconds. Every single animation is funny. Every single sound is hilarious. How much time do you spend editing those videos? I want to talk to you at some point off stream about this because your scripts are tight. They are so tight. The, the animations, the moving of it, the, the fitting of all of the... Every single vocal inflection also fits to an, a physical um, change on the screen as well. It is ridiculous. But no, super impressed. Thank you, man. Um, someone... What else have we got? We've got Disease Cloud and we've got Clinging Darkness. 
I want to get cavorting bones. You've all been, you've told me that cavorting bones is like the one. This is the one. Let's go with fear up there as well. I like how fear is just like a red version of cavorting bones. Like it's the same skull. Um, this one, damage over time, disease, snare. Let's go with disease cloud just there. And then, oh, it's telling me, do I need to wait? Ah, it's writing it in. I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to get the pet going on. We're going to get the empty spell. Pet. Summon undead. Cavorting bones. There it is. Am I the only one who thinks Josh is, like, super hot? I mean, you best not be. I mean, I'm not putting on this shirt and this waistcoat for nothing. I'm putting it on because I've kind of committed to it several years ago, and now I feel that I'm trapped in an endless wave of must-wear shirt and waistcoat at all times. I mean, it's Christmas, guys. I bought jumpers. It's cold. I bought an Ultramarines jumper, a proper Warhammer one. To be fair, I also bought an, an Ultramarines uh, stocking that I can put my gifts in, and an Ultramarines uh, little bauble for the Christmas tree. So, yeah. Yeah, wear the jumpers. I could... I mean, they're... I really angered my partner a few days ago. Because I bought some bedding. And I thought I was being adult. I thought I was being grown up. And I thought I was helping. I thought, you know, hey, this is good. This is good. I know what I'm doing. I'm ready. And then they were out. And so what I did, I, I took the, the time to put the bedding on the bed so when they came back, the bedding would be on the bed. And they didn't seem too happy, but I... I was pretty happy with it. I love Christmas so much. Now some of you will be saying, oh, but it's, it's only... Look, it says Merry Christmas. Now, some of you will be saying, oh, but it's only October. Okay? Shut up. October is pre-Christmas. Everyone knows this. People are always like, oh, but you've got to wait for Halloween. No. No. I, I respect Halloween. I love Halloween. Don't get me wrong. But at some point, we need to admit that Halloween is just getting in the way of another month of Christmas. It could very much just be another month of Christmas. We could do that. We can make that happen. I will fight you over this one, Josh. Look, I'm going to lose viewers for this. I know I am. I understand that. I've got a lot of friends that love Halloween. They love the spooky season. They think that it's really fun, and it is. The one thing that sucks about Halloween is that it's so close to Christmas. And some of you will be saying, it's three months away. Chill. Look. Let's just agree that for three months we can have the best food. We can have the best music. I swear to God, as soon as YouTube lets me play music all of December, it's going to be Wham's Last Christmas on repeat. That's the only song I'm going to play. I don't care how many copyright strikes I'm going to get. It's going to be worth it. Actually, it's quite funny, because last Christmas, I did uh, give you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away. October the 11th. It started. <laughs> People are like, no, 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 no. Unsubbed, left, reported, reported to Jagex. I mean, Jagex aren't involved. I just assume that you report people to them whenever they do something that makes you want if someone ever makes you unhappy, report them to Jagex. In any situation in the world. Even, even better if RuneScape aren't involved. Right. Have I done a DMCA test on YouTube? Not yet. I don't want to you know, test them just yet. Christmas is the worst MMO. Metron, I've not banned anyone yet. But I will. Alright, don't, <laughs> don't test me. Okay, what are we doing? Um, so, that spell just there... Cavorting Bones. Can I put Cavorting Bones on number six? Yeah, I can. 
Okay, cool. So can I now cast that whenever I need to? I'm guessing it takes up a single bone shard. And it gets me, I'm guessing... It gets me a skelly boy! Jaban. Can you choose the skeletons' names? Or do they have... How long do they live for? Is there a, a time limit on how long they survive? Or do they just survive until they die? Good old Jaban. It's your boy Jaban. Uh, okay, cool. They all have random names. Okay, cool. So they have random names. He has his own personality. You can't... Until they die. Until they die. Okay, hang on. What am I being given? Batwing and Ratpaw. Yeah, I'm not bothered about that. So, Joff Strife, I will leave your party for the time being. Just so I'm not picking up some random loot. How many followers can I have? Jacob, my goodness, that is an incredible amount to donate. Thank you very much. Tried to share a channel that has interviews the original EQ devs, but YouTube isn't allowing me. Can I post it in chat? Uh, best one, Jacob, send it me on Discord. Send it me on Discord, dude. And what I will do is I will then be able to watch it and then share it around and react to stuff on it like that. So I'm excited about learning more about EverQuest and seeing what's kind of going on with that. Can you be my dad for Christmas? You know what? I can. I'm proud of you, son. Is that is that what you wanted? Is that what we needed to hear? Get out, porn bot. Hey, no, right, no, listen. That wasn't just a porn bot. That was... Did you even read what they put? That was the best adult dating site. Not just one of them. Okay? It's not amateur hour here. That was the best one. And there's a lot. We... I almost feel, like, you know, graced with the presence of the best. We could have had any spam bot come into this chat right now. We could have had, like, you know, the 13th, the 27th, the 400th. No, no. No, we got number one. I'm almost... I almost feel bad banning them. You know, that's like... It's like Spambot royalty right there. That is the best Spambot. Alright, cool. Right. What are we doing now? Six in group? Let's decline that follow. I'm not too bothered about following the groups right now. I would rather just try to solo what I can. Okay, speak to guard Ratiz and finish the Rebellion Reloaded. Hey, Ratiz, how's it going, dude? Chat to the guard. Rebellion Reloaded. The kobolds will be charging down this passage. We'll only have time to fire a few arrows before they close. Venture into the tunnels and bring me one more arrow. The kobolds leave ammunition in the barrels throughout the mines. Break a few of them open. Oh, so this is the quest that effectively teaches you about breaking open arrows. I like this. Uh, open arrows. Open barrels. Right, what was that one? Disease cloud. Let's cast that and see what happens. Okay, let's cast Disease Cloud onto a cave rat. Now, does Disease Cloud hurt me as well? That's an interesting question. I feel that I should have asked that before casting it. That'd be, that should be something that I probably know before. Did I leave Twitch? Not yet. Not yet. I haven't left Twitch at all. I've simply done other stuff. Okay, so I'm guessing my pet just fights whenever I fight. How do I... Ah, do I send my pet in by clicking on an enemy and then just clicking, like, auto-attack? Will that send the pet in? Is there a pet attack button? There's got to be a pet attack button at that point. Bring up the pet window. Okay. So, EQ, character, pet... Now, apparently I had it open, and now it's closed. So, character, pet. Pet info's over here. Stick you down there. Oh, Jabram, attack. Okay, so I can just choose him. I can click on something, and then click attack. Jabram will pop off and start punching it, like the absolute boss that he is. Can you heal your own pets? That's an interesting question. Have I finished those Hellblasters? Yes, I have. Yes, I have, my man. Uh, green ones can hit you. Yes, you can. How do I heal my pet? I'm guessing I 
aim at it, and then I use... Can I shield my pet? No, that casts onto me, it seems. Okay, it's a spell you get later. Right, okay, cool. He heals quickly out of combat. Oh my god, he heals out of combat! Oh, this is so much different to the uh, Guild Wars 1 pet system, where they just constantly, you know, slowly take damage and die. This one I can just send him in to punch things, and life tap from a distance. Can necromancers get any kind of ranged weapons, like a bow or a crossbow or a little pebble that I can throw at stuff? Yellow spells are typically self-buffs. Any heal will work on pets. Pets have very high HP regen. Yellow color coding means self. Smart on not leaving yet. Don't keep all your second monitors. Oh no, Loki, I wouldn't keep all my second monitors in one second monitor basket. I'd make sure we have lots of various ones. There are some throwing items, but you're usually just casting spells. Okay, cool. So, life tap seems to be... Control B for the book. What was my... So, life tap does a small amount of damage. Six and six. So, that siphons six hit points. Disease cloud does five damage and then one extra. Clinging darkness, eight damage every six seconds. Hang on. Clinging Darkness does eight damage every six seconds for 48 seconds. So it does it effectively nine times. No. Multiple times that add up to 48. Okay. Interesting. That's good. Eight times. Alright. Let's get Clinging Darkness on to... Oh, let's just close that for a second. Let's put Clinging Darkness in the book, and then let's get Clinging Darkness. Yeah, open with Clinging Darkness, then go for Life Tap. The game runs on server ticks. Server ticks are six seconds. Okay, gotcha. Darkness is a damage over time, and it spells opponents. So just open with Clinging Darkness, go with Disease Cloud, and Life Tap if I need to refill my own health. Alright, sweet. Okay. We're getting this. Just got to put this, Clinging Darkness, onto eight. So we target something, we send in the pet, we open with Clinging Darkness, then while it's being clung with Darkness, we life tap it through, which siphons it back to me. Occasionally we go for Disease Cloud. Pets act as tank! If you stagger... Okay, cool. Stagger spell passing. The pet holds the aggro. And Disease Cloud, how much mana was that? So that costs 10 mana and does 5 damage. And Life Tap is 8 mana. So Life Tap is actually my attack spell, if you will. That was pretty cool. So Life Tap is almost like my general... Combat is long, yeah. This is good. The Fuzzy, this whole stream is a joke. How dare you? I'm trying, man. Try my hardest. Don't make me make. Don't make. Don't make me make you make me run an advert. You may enable taunt on your pet so it retains the aggro. Can we? Is that like an? Okay, cool. So taunt, and I attack, and it tries to keep the aggro as much as it can. You can alt left click your spells to read the info. So alt left click. Oh, cool. Okay, holding alt just shows all that stuff there too. I like this. This is good. I'm learning things. What was I doing? Um, the Rebellion Reloaded. Deliver one arrow. Oh yeah, I'd find an arrow, didn't I? And the arrows were in the barrels. The barrels were here. So we were slash opening, find an arrow, give the arrow back to the dude. I'm learning, guys. I am slowly but surely learning. Great to see you on YouTube. Never use Twitch. Nice to see you stream here. Well, thank you very much. I thought we would just... Uh, Give it a go. I thought we'd see how YouTube goes and we'd play some EverQuest. And I'm going to be real, I'm kind of enjoying EverQuest. I'm learning. In fact, who was it? It was giving the guard rats. So open you. Pick up one class arrow. I only need one. So we're going to go with quantity one. And then give it to guard rats. Give. Sweet. Did you find a bow and some arrows in the barrels? With these, you can attack an enemy at range. 
Yeah, I'm not too bothered about using range stuff right now. I'd rather just keep throwing in spells, seeing as... Quivers are a special type bag that only hold arrows. The quiver given to you has no special properties. You can find ones that reduce stuff. So I got given a quiver, did I? Where has the quiver gone? Is the quiver inside the backpack? It is. So the quiver... Okay. Tribute, weight, reduction 20, quiver, item, arrows. So can I put arrows in the quiver? Is that how that works? Or do I click and drag? Do I equip that onto me or something? Oh, you, okay. I'll just leave it there for the time being. Have you been tracking Pantheon? If you're liking EverQuest, you might like the look of Pantheon. I've not really been spending too much time tracking either Ashes of Creation or Pantheon Rise of the Fallen because both of them are promising uh, incredible things and I will judge the product when the product releases to be played. You're obligated to love Halloween. Look, if you want to love Halloween, that's absolutely fine. I get it. I understand it. Pet steals experience if he does more than... The pet steals the experience. Nice. Oh, containers must be in the main part to be used. So, can I... Can I put those in there? Oh, you right-click and it opens it up again. Okay, I see how this works. And then the arrows just go in the quiver. But you can't put non-arrows in the quiver. I'm learning. So the quiver is literally just another container. Cool. Quiver is just a container with stuff. Gotcha. Uh, what was the next... Um, the next quest bit... Speak to Guard Viren and finish the quest. Spider Tamer Guggen. Guard Viren. Hail. Spider Tamer Guggen. Let's accept. Let's have a look. Spider Tamer is able to brew anti venom from a rare flower that grows in Glooming Deep. If we have this flower, we may be able to use it to save our comrades. Find the anti venom violet. Okay. It's a rare flower, the anti-venom violet, but we don't know where. We just know it's like the gloom fang lair. It just pretty much says anti-venom violet. So it's Alt Q for the quest list. That's that one. We don't know where though. We've got to go look for it. We've got to actually go and search for something that's part of the quest. Okay. I am learning. We are slowly. Slowly but surely getting there. Right, ladies and gents, I've been live for about three hours now. This was only meant to be a, a test to see if YouTube streaming works. I think it does. Uh, I think I will definitely stream on YouTube much, much more. I will find a schedule that works for Twitch, a schedule that works for YouTube, and then I'll be able to put more videos out on YouTube. The cool thing about streaming on YouTube is all of these videos get automatically archived at the end. So they go onto a new playlist, and if you miss the live streams, you can just go back and stick this on your second monitor and watch all of these things. I will. I'm sorry, guys. I've been streaming for three hours. I want to make sure I stream as often as I can on YouTube, but I need to go and be healthy. Now, one of the reasons that I haven't made as many videos recently was I had a load of real-life events to go to. We went to EGX in London. We went to Insomnia. We went down to a lot of other stuff. I met up with people, met up with performing the live D&D &D to various things and various shows and whatnot, and I haven't really had time to sit at my computer and just make videos for the last month. But I think the convention scene is slowly, you know, chilling and quite, getting a bit quieter now, so we can get back to actually producing videos both on the main channel for MMOs and Josh Drive Plays for the retro reviews and stuff like that. What we are going to do, guys, before I head off, is I'm going to run one advert just to see how many you guys get. Again, we've only had... We've had two, uns two skippables, one unskippable and one skippable, and everyone with ad block has just not had any adverts, which is good. So let me know what you get, and if it's still good, I know that it's not going to annoy people that badly. You have premiums, you won't get them. That's good. Let's do one check. I'm going to see how this works for me as well. I'm not going to do anything during the adverts that's important in any way. 
if we do streams like this in the future, which I definitely will, I don't want to do anything during advert breaks. It will literally just be, hey, let's see what the ad's like. I've clicked ad, ad block seemed to work, that lagged the screen a bit, ad block works, I'm on premium. Yeah, sweet, you guys got ad block. Most people have got that, that's fine. Two skippable, five seconds skip. All right, cool, five seconds skip, man. It was a Christmas advert. Yes. Yes. That's what we need more of. It was a Christmas advert. That's what we need. Christmas adverts, guys. It's happening. Okay, we've been streaming for three hours. Uh, that's normally my time limit for doing anything, seeing as it's draining to do this for a long time. I'm going to pop off. This will be up on the main channel, probably on a playlist of like EverQuest playthroughs. I think we should play EverQuest once some more. Hopefully you're all in agreement. Thank you for joining me, guys. Take care. Good night.